welcome back to Cinema Asylum Podcast. My name is Dylan. I'm one of two superhero and sci-fi experts. I'm Matthew, the other superhero and sci-fi expert. I'm... Oh, sorry. Cut you off. <laughs> yeah, okay. How I'm, dare you? I was like, really quiet for a minute. I was wondering why. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Let's redo it. <laughs> no, we're good. Oh, okay. I am Garrett. I am the Indian drama expert. Okay. <laughs> As you can tell, we, uh, we screwed up on the intro there, but that's okay. We're wacky. <laughs> and I am John Thompson. I am the action and animation expert. And all we can say is, welcome back after weeks and weeks. <laughs> how, how are you guys doing? I had to cut my beer before I came here. <laughs> I, I had I had a uh, castaway thing going on for a minute. <laughs> you know what? I can, I can actually see that. I could rock it if I could grow it that and long. And Castaway is a great movie. Yep. Oh God! Please don't. Oh, I can't. No. I, I wish. I wish that I could do the little twists on the end, though. That'd be. That'd be neat. It would be a violent night. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Okay. Fuck you. But all right. <laughs> but all right, uh, I'll add one. Whatever. But uh, yeah, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, it's great to be back on the podcast after missing so many times. We had a lot of things going on, but we're not gonna get into we it. Did put, we did put a video up. Mm-hmm. Yes. We're having a Batman giveaway. We have a video about that. And we also have a video of why it's been so long since we've had episodes. So go watch both of those videos. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're and, very sorry. <laughs> yeah. So and, it was kind of out of our hands. <laughs> and also, uh, hopefully in early July, the Phineas and First Season 2 review will be uploaded as well. So. What's that line from Deadpool Life or something like that? Or actually, what's that like for you happiness? <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we are discussing... Movies that killed their franchises today. Oh, nice. no! <laughs> now, this doesn't mean the franchise ended. No. Mm-hmm. Right. This means it was a good couple of years before they brought it back. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a fat man. It. <laughs> yeah. It exactly. It was a reboot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the movie that killed a franchise and never had a chance to do another movie after that. Yeah. So. <laughs> There's a couple of those we'll mention, too. Probably so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I got to watch uh, three movies this week. Uh, it was only because me and my family, we went to Texas for the wonderful event we went to, the Goodwill Awards Banquet, which my story is actually on the Cinema Asylum podcast page. You can go check out my story on the Goodwill experience and everything in between. I just have one question. Yeah. Was there a chainsaw massacre while you were there? Thank God, no. <laughs> Thank God, no. <laughs> I assume that's a pun joke, which it must have been not good, which is no surprise. But anyway, uh, you can go check out my story on, on, on that one. And also, give some love and support to the other award winners that were also in that same YouTube channel. So definitely give them support as well. Um, they pretty much changed my life for the better for the past three years, but Excel Center in Goodwill. So thank you all for that. So while I was on the plane... This was not planned, okay, I swear. I was going to watch the first movie on Disney+, Plus, but I couldn't get the Disney+, Plus to work on airplane mode. So, I had to watch movies that was on free entertainment on American Online, uh, American Airline website, to see what free entertainment actually had. So, they did have a few Pixar movies, and funny enough, Up was on there. (laughs) This was not planned. So I decided, you know what? I'll watch up while we're on the plane, <laughs> which is so funny. They because... could have been better. You could have watched the movies about a plane crash while you're on the plane. I don't think yeah. they had that. Uh, not not <laughs> that I I'm aware of. <laughs> not that I was aware of. I didn't even flight. bother to even look watch at that. the movie Flight with Denzel Washington. <laughs> I need to watch that. I need to watch Blight. I need that to watch that. should be illegal to have those on airplanes. Probably so. Probably so. But anyway, uh, but yeah, I, 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 I rewatched uh, Up. Um, so glad I did. Um, just an amazing film. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I rewatched it. Um, then um, when we got done with the awards banquet, which was amazing, by the way, which again, thank you. Uh, finally got to watch a movie that I wanted to watch on, on the plane, which was Toy Story 4, because I had it all planned to, to watch the fourth movie. Uh, to, to, uh, ha, ha, ha. Um, and, and, um, still, still love it. Still fantastic. No surprise, says everybody else. I'm a Toy Story fan. Um, but since I was in a Pixar mood, I decided to watch Ratatouille at home, because I felt like it. Yeah, uh, and Ratatouille, also fantastic. Yep. Abs- absolutely love it. And, 
funny enough, when I watched the film Up and the mention when Doug said squirrel, guess what we saw in Texas? A squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Which I was thinking, what's going on here? And then when I was watching Ratatouille, I had a spaghetti casserole while I was watching Ratatouille. So. Oh, I was going to say, did you see Rats in Texas too? <laughs> no, 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 no. If, uh, you, if you haven't watched our podcast before, there's always like bullying with John. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I was just thinking, no, that's, I was just day. thinking, no, that's not a coincidence. So I just thought that's actually pretty funny. So. <laughs> So, yeah, I had a great week. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, and watched three movies that I absolutely loved uh, uh, during that week. So, there you go. Um, I didn't watch that much this week, um, but I did get to see... Well, I saw three of these uh, were theatrical watches. Um, and, one of these, and one of these is a uh, TV episode. So, um, first I watched the movie Pig. Um, in preparation for Quiet Place Day 1 because it's the same director. Um, oh, yeah. A movie, uh, I'd never, I hadn't seen this uh, when it came out in 2021, and I heard so much, gra- so many great things about it. And yeah, this is a really unique movie for the, the type of plot that, because when I first heard about this movie, I thought, oh, this is going to be like John Wick, but with a pig. It's not. The way it presents itself is like, it's like if John Wick was more of a pacifist, and he just, <laughs> and it, I just love, I love that the the way that this movie, um, that you don't really know the movie presents information to you gradually as it goes along, like it it, and I love movies that do that where it creates a very interesting world that you learn more and more about, um. Because the way it's set up is that uh, Nick Cage uh, works with these uh, these drug this this group uh, for that um, that spreads and sells drugs, and um, he has this truffle pig that helps him find all the stuff, and um, then the pig gets kidnapped, and this is basically a search for his pig, um, and the pig does not get killed. Um, so thank God. <laughs> unlike unlike in John Wick, where you know, there's no there's no really no killing spree in this. So which is really cool. Um, so there was no bacon at the end. No bacon. No. Um, <laughs> I love so, bacon, but still. So yeah, uh, I love this movie. I'm there. All the all the goodwill I've heard about this movie is one one hundred percent right. I didn't so um, you would turn the mic off, and I'd been talking with no mic. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Is it on now? Yeah, it's on now. Okay. I realized, I was like, wait, the mic's off. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> the levels are down. Crap! It's happening again. <laughs> god damn it. Okay. Um so yeah. Uh Love Pig. Um then I watched uh Gretel and Hansel, which is uh another movie that um is directed by Osgood Perkins and I hadn't seen this also. Just wanted to prepare for uh, long legs. Um, was not really a fan of this one. Um, this movie, like watching the trailer for Long Legs and watching this movie, you can definitely tell it was made by the same guy. Um, unfortunately, though, I don't think this kind of style works for this particular movie because um, obviously, so this is like a a darker take on a, the grim fa- fairy tale, of course. Mm. Um, and while well, the the premise of the movie and the, the tone that you that it sets up is is cool and it you'd think it would kind of create like something like the witch um unfortunately the movie does not the the movie did not grab my attention really like and it didn't really engage me because the shots go on for longer than they should like there's it's it's that re- it's really the acting is not even that good. Like it has good actors like Sophia Lillis, who of course is from it and is uh, from Dungeons and Dragons. And I liked her in those movies. Uh, mm. She's very stilted in this movie and I don't think it works. I don't think she works that well in this movie. Um, Hansel is just in he's and he's younger than uh, Gretel is. And, did not work for me at all. And you could honestly cut him out of this movie and nothing much would change. Um, and uh, I don't like saying that. And really the only thing I really enjoyed about the movie, the only things I really enjoyed, 
art, some of the cin- cinematography, and um, and a lot of it is very much in the style of like how Osgood Perkins usually shoots his movies, very um, center framed, um, a lot of like wide angle lenses. Um, and uh, I like in Alice Krieg as the um, as the witch in the film. I think works for the most part. Um, but other than that, like the movie is just really dull and it's not that creepy. The tone is all over the place. And um, yeah, it's just, inter- it's probably my least favorite of uh, Osgood Perkins's movie so far. And he hasn't really directed that much, but I'm so excited for Long Legs. I'm so excited. Um, then uh, House of the Dragon uh, season two, episode two. Um, which I think is um, was even better than the last episode. Um, I'm, I love, 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 love season one of this show, and I think, um, I think the show is just going into more and more interesting places. Um, so yeah, uh, the other three movies I watched in the theater, um, I saw the Bike Riders, which um, I liked a lot. Um, I like, I love the acting in it. Um, Austin Butler is fantastic in this. Uh, Tom Hardy, this is probably one of his better performances recently. Nice. Um, and uh, Jodie Comer absolutely steals the show in this movie. Um, she is so great in this. Um, also has Michael Shannon. Um, uh, yeah, just a really solid movie. Um, really gets brings you into the time period and all the things that happened in that time period with that kind of um, biker culture. Yeah. Um, learn a lot about it um, from this movie, and it's based on a true story, too. I didn't realize that uh, Austin Butler was actually one of his first appearances was in Arrow. That, yeah. Was, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Stri- yeah. Streak of Arrow. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I totally forgot about that until recently. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Um, Is my mic on? Yeah. Okay, I don't know why I'm not getting this. I'm not getting from it's the It's showing up on here. Ah, oh, that's much different than I thought it would. <laughs> it's much different. <laughs> um, so then uh, I saw Inside Out 2 for the second time um, yes. with my mom. She so wanted to good. See it, I so love I went it. With her. Um, loved it even more. Um, this movie is just fantastic. Um, then I went to see Quiet Place Day 1, and uh, I have the review of that coming out this week. So you'll be able to get my full thoughts on that. Yeah, I went to see Inside Out 2 uh, three weeks ago, and it's already the fastest grossing animated film to make a billion dollars, which is so well-deserved. I love it. So fantastic. fantastic. And I can't wait to watch it again when it comes out on Blu-ray. Can't wait to watch it again. The Quiet Place review should be up before this episode. Yep. Yep. Um, which, which I need to watch that, too. So I watched, like, 11 movies, I think. Um, last Sunday, uh, Garrett stayed for most of it. I watched the first Omen. Yeah, I I actually really enjoyed it. Told not, you, not my type of movie, but I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Uh, shocking that I would enjoy something like that. Yeah. Um, I I watched Under Paris. How was uh, that? That sounds familiar. Uh, it was way overhyped. It was enjoyable, it, but it was watching overhyped. the trailer was like, it, it the trailer did not really get me engaged with it. Really, yeah. it just it kind of like cheap to be honest people were saying um, it was like the french equivalent of jaws it's not that good no it's not no i can we get to the point where like we just accept that we're not gonna get a shark movie as good as jaws like come on the only one that i think has ever gotten close i love shark movies the only one i think that's even gotten close is the shallows that was good it yeah. was really good i love the shallows, but i actually prefer that over jaws wow i <laughs> that's huh. yeah <laughs> I haven't seen Jaws any of the a better movie, but I prefer the okay. shallows more enjoyable. I, accept, to me. I, I haven't seen that. any of these two movies, and already people are going to be like, "Whoa, really?" Dude, I forgot <laughs> that you. I forgot that you haven't seen Jaws. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. And also, I mean, just to tell you, uh, I I have a sister, uh, Morgan. Uh, her father would not be friends with me that I have not watched Jaws because that's his favorite movie of all time. I so know. He would. Jaws, so he would kill top, me. It's I better not let him find out then. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it before this year is over. I promise you guys, I'm going to watch you don't, it. You're not into horror, but this is like an essential one. Yeah. Like, I and I love Spielberg, so. I know of all the Jaws movies. Paul got me the three pack of the other three. Oh, Jesus I, Christ. I'm not watching Ugh. them yet. Um, Good luck under, with that. I gave Under Paris three and a half. I'll br- I'll, I will be bringing some of those movies up later tonight. I figured. Uh, I watched Trigger Warning on Netflix. Oh, yeah. Is that the Jessica Alba? Yeah. Uh, 
it was an average like action revenge it, exactly thriller. the kind of movie netflix makes so yeah, it, not really not really surprised it was it was good though um mm. i give it a four star after, now this one i was really surprised with what were you saying uh, just real quick after watching heart of stone which i i watched it for her because yeah. i know you i know, know i did <laughs> I, c- I got 20 minutes into that movie and I turned it off. I was like, this is it was like a so, cheap off of Mission this is Possible. so goddamn dull. It's yeah. so bland. I don't know. I like, love action movies. I think I, I would movie, like it more. I kind of stopped watching Netflix movies like that, like those generic action films. Yeah. Like, I'm not wasting my time with these. <laughs> unless a, unless one gets like super great reviews, I'm just not. I I'm s- not tuning in. I stuck with Heart of Stone. I stuck with it all the way to the end. I, I did not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to be a lot more forgiving to this movie because I love action and I love Gal. So. Well, yeah, yeah. But this yeah. one is a trigger warning. Yeah, trigger warning is Jessica Jesse Alba. Jessica Alba. Uh, Roadhouse. Oh, with the new, the new one, one with John I John really Hall. enjoyed that, actually. I thought it was all right. Like, I wasn't. I've not seen the original. Neither have I. Um, and I, I need to watch the original. Yeah. Um, and I, I love Doug Liman. I, I think Doug Liman is a super underrated director. Um, I was not crazy about this one because I just felt like it had the right ingredients, but the mixture of the mixture of it all was not like was not up to snuff. Uh-huh. Like Conor McGregor in this movie is over the top in a way that I didn't really enjoy that much. <laughs> like it was Jason Momoa and Fast X. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoyed Momoa more in Fast X than I do Conor in this movie. Like it just. Mixed together with like Jake Gyllenhaal's performance, yeah. just did not go to get. And tonally, the movie was just all over the place, like just in a in a way that didn't really work for me. Yeah. I so, enjoyed it. I I ended up giving it a four and a half. It didn't it, for me. It didn't know if it was like if it was trying to be like that over the top action film or it was more of a crime thriller. Yeah, yeah and it, it 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 didn't really know what it wanted to be. So. It's actually one of my highest rated movies of this year. No, I I get, I get if you if get the people who are into it, it just yeah, wasn't. Really I'll good. probably like it. Um, Monkey Man. I the, I dug it. The action scenes I loved. That was uh, e- easily the standout. The story wasn't that engaging to me. Oh come sure. on, come no, on! It, just, but, it wasn't like I don't know. I thought the story too was great. I loved it. I'm not saying it wasn't great. It just wasn't engaging to me. Yeah, I could I could feel I could feel the passion yeah. uh, from there was it though. Passion like, in it. like Deb Patel really really went there for this movie and he uh, really took bat took the bat to the or stood up to the plate. Yeah, it just yeah. wasn't holding my attention. Like Gotcha. I give it a three That's and a half fine. though. Like uh It's a it's a Indian version of John Wick, I can call it that. <laughs> uh, sure. I rewatched Split with Paul. Oh, oh nice. Um, Still amazing. Okay, good. I still, <laughs> I've been, I've been in a, I've been in an unbreakable mood. I've been wanting, I want to re- rewatch that. Soon. I did not rewatch that. Uh, yeah. I did watch Glass for the first time though. Wait for the first time? Yeah. What do you think? It was the weakest of the three. Mm. I still enjoyed wait, wait, it though. Oh, did you say Split or Glass? Glass. He said Glass for the first Sorry. time. Yeah. No, Split. I watched. That was yeah. Glass is definitely split. the weakest. Yeah. I, but I, I actually think Glass is. Better than some people make it out to be. Yes, like, yes. that's what a lot of people I said. I, yeah, I, I get, I completely. The ending is where things kind of get muddled for me. Yeah. yeah, but like, the rest of the movie I thought was like fairly. I still fairly gave it good. a four star. Yeah, uh, I, I gave it like I give it like a three star. Out of five. Yeah, honestly, I refuse to do a Shyamalan ranking because it does. This, this is direct. To, because that's a director that. I'm just not we interested in. Do <laughs> we need to do, no, we need to do a full episode on. Shyamalan. Okay, like, bring it. We need to do and that. One hell of a I thing. don't know, man. His we directing, should. his directing is just so weird. He made more bad movies than good ones. Honestly, it's like Russian roulette. It's fun. <laughs> and what if I said Last like Airbender hit, was my favorite? Now, like, <laughs> tra- I don't know if Trap is going to be amazing. I heard that film was so I bad, it's though. Be trap. <laughs> I if, heard it's if, really bad. If Trap is going to be amazing or if it's going to be absolutely atrocious, I don't know how this is going to go, yeah, man. So, it looks so good. I'm, I'm I, I, so excited for it. Um, the trailer looks great. I just don't know how this is going to go, man. It's either going to go really good or it's going to go liked, really bad. I like not knowing what we're going to get with him. Yeah. I know. I, yeah. I, it, it's either it's a coin toss. and I, It's either going to be amazing or a train wreck. Mm-hmm. The vi- uh, I love the visit. <laughs> I thought that was going to be awful. So <laughs> I rewatched the first two pirate movies. Okay. Uh, 
I think Dead Man's Chest is still my favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I like I like the first two. The rest I couldn't care. Couldn't yeah, I, care I need about. to. I've got the Blu-rays. I bought them all at work. The it was a four pack of the first four, so I still mm-hmm. got to watch three and four. And I haven't watched five yet. I've got the DVD of that. Fourth is the weakest for me. Okay, I'm, I just, yeah. I'm not a big fan of four. Tides is pretty. Yeah. I like five, just not as much as the original three. Uh, l- last night I stayed up super late because of my concussion, so I had a late night screening of the Batman. <laughs> I watched the Batman for like I one watch, I want to watch. Still masterpiece, movie. greatest ever. I love it. This year. Huh? I still haven't rewatched it this year. That was my third watch this year. Huh? That was my th- th- third watch this year. Well, I know. Uh, I I know. I know how many times you've wa- rewatched it this year, Matthew. I just as many times I mean, as he re- he's not as many times as he's probably rewatched Twister. Yeah, no, probably Twister not. <laughs> no. Um. Oh. Nothing. Co- the first year, though, I pulled uh, a Paul in mm. 2022. I I think I probably watched the Batman 22 times that year. Yeah, you watch it a shit. Oh wow, as many times as Paul that. watched uh, Scream. Six. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's rookie numbers compared to Paul watching Scream. Oh six. god. <laughs> I, I need Paul watched Scream Six. I think he said like 170 times in a year. God. I, I need, can't do yeah. it. I, yeah, I need. I need to read. I don't have the freaking time to do that. With I know, man. Now. I know. And then last but not least, uh, earlier today, I rewatched Prometheus. Yeah, I definitely want to do an Alien binge before uh, Romulus. Romulus. I'm going to do both Alien and Predator. I'm going to watch them all. Nice. Uh, nice. When's Romulus coming out again? August 16th. you got to watch them now. Yeah, that means bum, I have like 45 bum, bum, days. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, yeah. Bum, bum, how, bum, 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 okay. Bum, bum, how bum. many alien movies are there? Right now? Six. Six. And then the two Alien vs Predator. Okay. Well, that's at least a little bit better. I fucking love Predator. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. I yeah. will give you advice. When you get to three, oh. and two, director's cuts. Okay. Two, it's not as essential. It makes it a better movie. But three, it makes it go from a bad movie to a good movie. Okay, okay. Because well, I didn't least, care for the theatrical. At least three. more watchable. Yeah, I didn't yeah. Care for the theatrical three. I enjoyed the resurrection. Is not watchable in any way you watch no. it. Yeah, be prepared okay. for resurrection. It sucks. I'm gonna come it's out of still, it fucking loving it. I'm probably, saying, oh, I'm pretty sure you will. <laughs> fa- like, there's fans of it. Like, they're like who who claim it as like their favorite. Like, yeah. which is just insane to me. I seen that like, the other day. It's better than both aliens. What the fuck? <laughs> Like, what the hell? No way. I haven't even seen it. I'm just saying bullshit that right now. There's we're going to no mention way. that later. <laughs> yeah, you, you will hear about Resurrection later. The gr- <laughs> two of the greatest sci-fi horror films yeah. ever made. And then you- Romulus. or No, not, not Romulus. Fucking Resurrection. Are you I was going to say Romulus me? has the potential to be up there with the first two. Yeah. Absolutely. It does. For sure. I'm probably going to be scared as crap on this one. And I'm still <laughs> interested in watching it, so... I want to be seeing it a few times because I'm going to the drive-in to see it. That's a, that'll be a good one. Watch that drive-in. It's, probably so. It's probably going to be another 26 years before. I, I want to see Ma- I want to see Maxine at a drive-in this week. I would love to see that at a drive-in. Uh, I still need to uh, watch X. I watched Pearl. I just I need yeah, to sit watch, down and watch. I watched X. those two uh, about a month or so ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, alien, I might sit down this the, week. The, the alien rankings. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Should we do Ali- the Alien Predator movies together and just rank them? Yeah, all? probably. Ooh, I'm gonna cover one of those. <sighs> I still have not watched Predator Two. I still have not watched the other ones yet. <laughs> That's gonna be quite an interesting ranking for me. You're in for a fucking treat. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I will. Because 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 <laughs> I because I love the first Predator. I love Prey. I love those two. Uh, I still haven't Wait, watched should, the other ones. Should one we? Never mind. Never mind. Oh, okay. 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 All right, dude. What do you got? All right, um, <laughs> I'm just going to try to blast through a bunch of them. Um, be, be, so anyway, I'm, I start blasting. <laughs> so anyway, start blasting. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, pew, pew. So I, I, I wasn't on the last less, uh, lost episode. I was on the lost episode before. <laughs> so I'm just going to take one it from the there. One episodes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one that we lost the audio. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, first, uh, first of all, I hope everybody had a great Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. Happy We're Pride. recording on the very last day. Uh, I wa- uh, I rewatched uh, Wizard of the o- uh, the Wizard of Oz in the very first day of Pride Month. Uh, three and a half stars. Uh, I finally watched Lightyear. Uh, five out of five. 
uh, which John and I talked about that earlier. I was really ups- <laughs> That was one of the reasons why I was really upset why we lost that episode. Yeah. Um, Underrated. Watch it. Yes, Amazing. I, I loved it. I, I'm so bummed out that I missed it. Review Rewind. Later on. Yes! Oh, yeah. We got, go. we got the review we want. Absolutely. I'm so down. Anything I'll, that involves Toy Story, I'll invite me, buddy. That. Sign me up. Yes. <laughs> review Rewind a Lightyear. Was yes. Not a, was not a Lightyear fan. I want to do... Uh, oh, that's fine. That's fine. I want to do uh, Zodiac for re- Review Rewind next week, if possible. I'm uh, down I need that, to too. watch Zodiac, watch too. That, that movie... Um, that mo- that'll be a good um, companion for Long Legs, too. Getting a lot of we'll July we'll July twelfth. We'll um, that week then. Yeah, yeah. I haven't I haven't seen Zodiac. I want to watch Zodiac that. vibes from those trailers. So yeah, we'll do a review the rewind the day for it. Long Legs comes out. Zodiac, okay. Long Legs comes out. Yeah. yeah let me know when you watch Zodiac. I'll watch it with you. My most anticipated movie of the summer. So. Nice. Uh, ne- uh, next, I finally watched the original Muppet movie. Uh, three and a half stars. I I, I liked it a lot. Uh, I. I it's one of those cases where it's definitely dated because of the uh, because of the guest stars that they have. Oh, okay. Because um, I love it. it I it, love the Muppets movie. No, it, it's great. It's really funny. I, I love seeing where like the movies started and I uh, obviously knowing where they ended. Uh-huh. Um, it, I, I liked it. it. It's definitely held true uh, this entire time. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. I rewatched the sequel trilogy. I rewatched the original trilogy. Nice. I rewatched uh, all of Ahsoka. Uh, one, uh, I, I want to point out one thing that I've been doing is uh, originally I uh, I've said it before on the podcast. Um, if I'm rewatching a movie now, since I started finally rating things on Letterboxd, um, if I rewatch a movie now, I I rate it. One of the things that I haven't been wanting to rate are the Star Wars movies because if I don't rate it five out of five, somebody might find it and be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, even though that's it's my taste. Um, so I was leaving them unrated. I just started to start rating them all five stars. I, I just, I, I love them. I feel like that that was a really good way to just be like, I fucking love Star Wars. Uh, so no surprise I, rating, there, yeah. Yeah, I, I've been rating everything five out, uh, five out of five Star Wars wise. Um, so I rewatched sequel trilogy. I rewatched the original trilogy. I rewatched Ahsoka. Uh, I rewatched the original trilogy again. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. It was all like back to back. I mean, why not? Yeah, I, I mean, mean, I I fucking love Star Wars. That it's sounds amazing. like me with Batman. Yeah, I just I, I love it. I I tried to save uh, rewatching the prequels for when I'm in a really special mood because I don't want to. Uh, if I watch one of the movies, I want to watch the next one. Uh, so I just want to make sure that I have the time to dedicate to it. So I have to save it for when I'm in a specific mood. Yeah. Otherwise, I just binge the other ones. Yeah. I did the same thing with Toy Story 4 when White Year was coming out. I watched it uh, the, uh, like the first day. Then I decided to watch it again the next day because yeah, I love yeah, that yeah. much. So I figured, hey, why not? <laughs> yeah. I I just love Star Wars so much, man. I, I've been uh, – I'm, I'm not going to talk about Acolyte because we're going to uh, we're gonna do a review at the end of the se- – excuse me. We're going to do a review at the very end of the season, so I'm not going to really talk about Acolyte. That's yes. why I haven't brought it up. Which is in like three weeks. Yeah. Holy shit! I cannot wait to talk about Acolyte. <laughs> wait, how many? So there are, are there eight episodes? Yeah, yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's really good. Don't listen to a bunch of the stupid ass criticism that's out there because there's a lot of people that don't no, know what they're I've, talking about. <laughs> I've been a, I've been able to pick apart. There's I there's a few trusted critics I listen to that don't go into all that stupid bullshit that a lot of the, the Star Wars fans go into. <sighs> the yeah. ones that actually go into like the real problems and not just the algorithm. What mm. the algorithm tells you. Yeah, no, Jesus I, Christ. From what I've gathered, I don't think I'll like the show. Like well, just from what I've listened, from what I've been told, like critically, like. And there's five Whoa, fireworks. yeah. <laughs> Early 4th of July just came, folks. <laughs> it's Indiana. The fireworks go off yeah, for the exactly. first three weeks. Yeah. yeah we, Small town Indiana. <laughs> but yeah, There's a firework um, that went off in like March near yeah. me. So I, I forgot about that. <laughs> Honestly, I've fallen off these Disney Plus shows like since I watched Obi-Wan. So like I've – actually, no, I, I watched Andor and I really okay. liked Andor. I think I, yeah. I Andor, started, Andor a, I started Ahsoka – I didn't like it that much, and then I kind of fell off. I kind of fell off the Disney Plus shows, so which is so, fine. I mean, they're not for everybody. I, I feel like yeah. they're filling like a niche market right now. At least you're not um, one of those whiny crybabies. I'm not. So <laughs> if I don't like it, odds are I'm not going to talk about it. Right, right. That is true. Like, yeah. Unless it's like super fucking bad. If it 
if it really gets under my skin and I have really good reasons to talk about it, like mm. with Madam Web, like I've talked on and on about how much I don't like it, but like I don't <laughs> I only like I only really talk about it in this space when like we bring it up. when it br- yeah. when it gets brought up. Like I don't go on social media and just post about it every day how much I hate it. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not one of those Yeah. People. And just to tell you, I haven't seen a bad Star Wars movie or special yet. <laughs> I haven't got to the holiday you special have, yet. The, okay, again, I was going to say, have you, have you okay, watched that? Okay. <laughs> no, and I know it's going to be bad. I'm probably going to laugh at you it. I love suffered, making fun of it. And you haven't suffered I, like I, some of us have. Yeah. It's entertaining. I, I'll say it's that. It's not entertaining. It's entertaining it's when you make fun of it. If you take it seriously, it's not great. <laughs> yeah, God. there's good parts in it. It's just, there's, it, there's things, a whole lot of bad. <laughs> there's some things I can't. Yeah, they they were on something when they made it. <laughs> there's some things you can't even you can't enjoy like unironic. And this is something like, George Lucas oh, was ashamed God. of, which yeah, is like, even he more said funny. He to destroy every copy. I like it's. I don't blame him. <laughs> oh, Matthew, you got an idea. 100%. What do you got, buddy? No, I have an idea. What? Better than a rewind. We will live stream John Knight's first reaction to it. Yes. That okay. Is, yes. Okay. Okay. Please. Oh my gosh. That. You know what? Yes. Yes. Can we do that on Life Day? When's that? Uh, November 18th, I think. November 18th? Yeah. Of course you remember. <laughs> <laughs> what day of the week is that? Let me, I, I, let me I, check. I don't know. Somebody has to pull it up. Yeah, I'm going to check. No, Let's please. Oh, my gosh. I would be so down. I, I'm going to buy a Snuggie that's a, for that's it and a everything. Monday. <laughs> November 16th, that's on a Saturday. Monday. I'll Eight, take 18. it off. Oh, Monday the 18th? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I, I should have that off. So, I, I'm super down for it. I that's, get off work at 5. Wait. I... That's the week before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah, if y'all are game, I'll do that. I'm super down for it. Just watching that, there was a documentary last year that came out about how that whole thing. Oh, that's right. I need about. to watch that. It is fascinating. It, it is yeah. fascinating. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be good. But I'm not. probably going to enjoy it a no, lot no. more than Madam Web. Everyone, ev- any, everyone will agree it is bad. Yeah. Yes. Just, er, but the thing, it just depends on if people actually enjoy it in the in the bet. In the, the only bet. movie not I mean, on Sharknado DVD is bad, but it's enjoyable. Right. Yeah. Like like you make Two fun of this own, now. But. That's how you enjoy it. <laughs> you make fun of it because you enjoy it, like, uh, or, or like vice versa. You enjoy it because you make fun yeah. of it. But like it, it's just one of those. Yeah. Things. But this is one of those bad movies or specials that I'm looking forward to watching. Yeah. So. No, it, it's glad, it's worth it. I'm glad <laughs> no, I watched that. it. I will never watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I know the review rewind we should do this week. John, okay. can you come over to watch a movie this week? Uh, what day? I-, I don't know. Dylan, what days are you free? Uh, I work Tuesdays through Saturday until 7. Oh, because that's one of those days after. So, John, there's a sci-fi movie uh, we want you to see. It's supposed to be really good. It's okay. called Plan 9 from Outer Space. Oh, God. <laughs> I heard so many things about that. Crap, he's heard of it. The gig is up. <laughs> so I, all I know, all I know is it, it was it's directed by a guy that has no talent, but that loves directing. Yeah, Ed Wood. And there are so many errors in that there's movie, a, which I found it, ama- which I heard is hilarious. There's legitimately, in a, there's an actually amazing movie that Tim Burton directed about Ed Wood. It's called. Oh yeah, that's right. I've been, which I've been wanting to watch movie. that. I've been wanting to watch um, Ed Wood. But no, uh, that is a movie that it is so bad it's good. That that is an enjoyable like Batman and Robin. So yeah, honestly, yeah, that is a. I'd say it's on that level. And and, and I heard it's a cult classic for a reason. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Do you have any more, Dylan? There's yeah, so I many do. funny. There's so many funny moments in them. It's, <laughs> it's just so if, if I'm not busy this week, I that would like to watch it with you. Okay. So just think of a day, and I'll see if I can make it. Okay. What do you got, Dylan? Okay. Uh. So next, I finally re- uh, I finally watched Luca. I gave that four and a half stars. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. cool. I liked it a lot. I um, love it too. Yeah. Uh, I I I'm bummed out that be, because I thought that I had like fully missed its theatrical run, but I guess it did it like a, th- a limited release. I, I yeah, I, I think it was limited it was only, like, and in Disney for like Plus, about a week which, or so. Which honestly, Pixar at the time they were just they were just trying to do the strategy. It did not work at and all. Yeah, it didn't One work. One thing though, like because. With Inside Out two being as big as of hit of a hit as it is, a lot of people have been ta- like, I do agree that Pixar for a bit was in a was in a downward slump, but like 
in 2020, we got, in my opinion, what was one of their best movies, which was Soul. It was amazing, um, yeah. yes. Honestly, I love and, Soul. I, and yeah, the Luke, I thought, was really good. Uh, maybe not, like, I didn't love it, love it, but, like, I think they were, Pixar was only in, like, maybe a two-year slump, maybe, yeah. if, if, if even that. Like, they they, well, they had mean, a couple movies not do well, but, like... It was, like, all alongside the pandemic. Yeah. Like, that, that's or, normally what I yeah. try to attribute to. Yeah, it. Yeah. It, it's... Yeah, like, like it's it's the reason why uh, uh, we 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 were talking about this earlier. Um, yeah, uh, Onward was pulled after a week. Onward is my favorite Pixar movie. Is it really? Yes, I love. Wow, first, really? first of all, I'm a Dungeons and Dragons nerd. We okay. we we've known this since Honor Among Thieves came out yeah. last year. Um, no, I I I love it. Uh, I love it because uh, because of not only the D and D references, but just. I felt like it was put together super well. I don't yeah. think that enough people got uh, give it uh, had enough time to give it a chance. I agree because of when it released. Yeah, and it it really sucks because it was a ver- it was a victim of circumstance. The ending of the movie is what really saved it for me because the first two acts I thought were good, but like not Pixar level what I'm used to from them. Okay, the ending the ending genuinely w- is what brings the movie from like. A six or a seven out of ten to like an eight out. Of 10. Yes, yeah, no, it, it really gets you. I, it's, it's rare for me to feel like I want to cry watching a movie. It, it, it worked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, it, and it I'll say this real quickly. I personally think also one of Pixar's best was Turning Red. I don't know why people yeah, hate I, it. I really like Turning Red. I love that film. Mm-hmm. I personally I think it's hilarious. It. It's yeah, I don't get it either. <laughs> Even my buddy Josh hated it. Like yeah, there, there, there's specific yeah. reasons that I can explain, but maybe I'm not going maybe to on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it's a general generational thing, but like. It, it's like, it, and I reasons. and I can relate to it. Like like NSYNC was my favorite band when I, I was like fourteen reasons, years old, and they they weren't even around anymore. One so of re- one of the other reasons was something to do with like nine eleven, but like it's such. A I did not thing. catch that. A minor thing, <laughs> but we're not going to get to that. Yeah, no, uh, it's yeah. it's whatever. Yeah. But anyway, um, uh, what else you got? And uh, so look at uh, look at four and a half. Right after I uh, I watched the short Chow uh, Chow Alberto, uh, four stars. Uh, I, I liked it. I thought it was, I thought it was good. It's just it wasn't as good as the movie. But I don't expect a short that's a spin off of a movie to be as good as the movie it spun off of. Right. Um, uh, Ghosts movie. The the band Ghosts. Uh, their uh, movie right here yeah. right now finally came out. I watched it twice. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I uh, I, I saw it uh, the Thursday it opened and then I saw it that Saturday. Um, I liked it a lot more that Saturday. <laughs> Rats. Uh, uh, oh, wow. uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I, 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 I wanted to uh, talk about that for just a quick second. I, I watched something in between, but it was a rewatch. Uh, you guys, you won't be surprised by what the rewatch was. Um, no, uh, right here, right now was actually really good. I'm not one for concert films, um, but with a with a band that is so story filled as Ghost is, mm-hmm. uh, that has so much lore that that's been telling a story this entire time. Um, Seeing it on the big screen was really nice because it filled in some uh, it filled in some nice holes. Um, my honestly, my only issues about it was the experience itself. Uh, the uh, when I watched it that Thursday, the volume just was not where it needed to be for a concert movie. When you're watching a concert movie in a fucking theater, you should hear the fucking crowd. Like you yeah. shouldn't be hearing people that are fucking fifteen. Bu- for first of all. Stop fucking talking theaters! I don't give a fuck if you don't normally go to a fucking theater. There's a normal kind of fucking etiquette. Shut the fuck up! I don't give a fuck that you're a fucking stand of the fucking band. I'm a fucking stand too. But you fucking know what? I don't want to hear you talking! The entire back row, both theaters, were fucking talking. No, 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 no! Okay. John shuts up during the fucking movies. I do. You make a couple comments throughout, and you will you'll you'll have like genuine reactions. Mm-hmm. That's great. That's provoking emotion from you by the fucking movie. Thank you. These people were talking the entire fucking time. Wow. I constantly heard them whisper. They wow. were not fucking paying attention. That's which cr- if that's crazy. If you've seen Ghost in in the uh, in concert, which this was uh, filmed on on one of their ending uh, performances, right. Um, if you saw them during their Imperator, most of the movie was wasn't new to you, which is fine if you're like like okay, well, blah, 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 like into your buddy's ear. 
But, like, they were having full fucking conversations the entire time. I was oh. like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Wow. That's bad. Like, Bro. this is why I don't go see concert movies. Y'all are fucking annoying. Y'all don't know how to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and, like, and I'm with you there. Like, I always wish, whisper, whisper to you and give you, like, comments on the movie. Yeah. And then and I just give you a comment. I'm like, oh, I like this scene. I like that one. Well, the thing is, you make an effort to be quiet. Exactly. You try to whisper into my ear when we see movies I together. I do, yeah. Save for Matthew. Yeah. Like, you, you, you talk into the person's ear. That way you're not talking so loud that people can hear you over the fucking concert movie. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, the, the yeah. when I saw it that Saturday, it was a different... It, it was... Uh, I, I say I saw it at the same theater, the the IMAX uh, seventeen. Okay. Uh, it was same theater. They just had different literal theaters. Yeah. So uh, I was in the right wing uh, that Thursday. I was in the left wing that Saturday. Yeah. That uh, that Saturday showing, they turned up the volume. Thank fucking god they did. Yeah. Because, like I said, a concert movie should be fucking loud. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which, which it, it was a bummer that they didn't put it in Dolby. But I get why they didn't put put it in Dolby. It wasn't. Yeah, for Dolby for, uh, format. Another famous I, I Dylan Rant, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but I just, Damn. even after they turned up the volume that Saturday, I could still hear them. And it was the same fucking people. What? On Thursday. What? Yes. That's crazy. Yes. That is insane. It was the same. Like, when I say it was wow. stance, it was stance. This is Taylor Swift level of shit. <laughs> it's like, wow. I can only imagine... When Era's tour was in theaters, you had the same exact fucking fans filling the theaters, Maybe. constantly talking all throughout. Maybe. It's like, just yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah. I should not hear you from 15 feet away. I'm below you. Your, your fucking volume should be, one, quiet. But it should also not be carrying forward by, like, three fucking rows. Yeah. How's your headache, by the way? Thank yeah, you. I'm sorry. Genuinely, I'm sorry. I just, I was so pissed. Yeah. I, like, I, I, I hadn't seen Ghost in Tour. I couldn't afford it during Imperator. And, like, the one fucking, uh, the, uh, where they performed here wasn't inside. And it was on, like, a 95-degree day. Like, I, I saw people, uh, there, were, there were people that were like, yeah, I almost fucking passed out. It was so fucking hot, wherever it was here in Indiana. Um, I think it was, yeah. like, the Klipsch Center? Yeah. Uh, if I'm remembering the name right. Yeah. Klipsch is outdoor. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's that's where they were, and it was 95 fucking degrees. Yeah, in yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. I got I got a little rant for you, too, about a certain movie, too. I went to see War of the Planet of the Apes at the movie theater in Indianapolis, Indiana. I think it was Cinemark. Mm. And... The movie was completely dark, and uh, it didn't bother me uh, at all when I, when I actually saw what I was watching the movie. But still, they had their cell phones on. The movie was completely dark. You don't turn on your cell phone yeah. in the middle of the freaking movie. Just focus what's on the screen. <laughs> it's that simple. Don't turn on your cell phone. <laughs> you, don't I do just, that. I mean, we've all had... We, we have way too many... Well, there, there's experiences like that now. Yeah, I think so, there's one like, time. I've, I think, I've had so many bad. I've, pro- I've had so many bad. Experiences. Yeah, and I think there was also one movie. I can't remember what movie it was, but there was someone that sneaked into the movie theater, and that person had to get out of the movie theater because he never paid for his ticket or something yeah, like I that. I think it was Shazam. Yeah, it was Shazam. Which, what the fudge, man? Like, and then they so were that happens all the, like that happens all the time at theaters I go to. Yeah, like, but still, why have the beast idiots, guys? Ha- like, like, so many, it's crazy so many times, like. People like um, went to see Fast Nine, and um, uh, there was this group of younger kids or teenagers yeah, just was teenagers. kept going in and out like every ten minutes. Like, oh my like what are you guys doing <laughs> wow. in here? Are you yeah. watching a movie? And like, what like, the hell are you doing? Selfies while they're yeah, probably. But I didn't, I didn't, like, I didn't see that. Yeah, but, like, yeah they were doing that in the movie. Really yeah, stupid. but just like the whole light year thing, I totally agree with you. Respect you for that a thousand percent. When you're watching a concert movie. Be quiet. Don't Any talk movie. throughout the entire film. Yeah. That's so dumb. They yeah. probably did if the same thing with the Taylor Swift movie, which that's not just if you're anywhere. Like it's proper theater etiquette op- to shut the fuck up and turn your etiquette. fucking phones off. Whether exactly. you're at an opera or fucking a play or anywhere like in an auditorium setting. Yeah, you don't do that. Shit. Yeah, I went you to see to Frozen on. Fucking I went to see Fro- Yeah, I went like, to see Frozen on Broadway, and people were very respectful. They didn't have their cell phones so, on or I'm anything so like that. I'm so grateful. Uh, my experience seeing 
uh, day one, A Quiet Place was fantastic. No one, no one talked. No one used their phones. Everyone was was respectful. Hallelujah! And thank God because <laughs> and the theater was loud. Like, um, before the movie came on, Lapita and Yango came on the screen to do like a little intro, mm. and it like it genuinely like. When she came on and the volume came on, I was like, startled me. Like, just her talking. It was like, this this is going to be good. Uh, did you see it in, like, Dolby or? Mm-hmm. Okay. I saw it in Dolby. Uh, I was wondering how it would go in Dolby. Thank, <laughs> thank God, because uh, I had a really bad experience with the second Quiet Place, um, in my, which was kind of ruined for me. So, probably the worst theater experience I've ever had in a movie was uh, when I went to see Widows in 2018, which had Viola Davis in it. Um, probably the worst theater experience I've ever had in my life. Ever. Like what you guys just said, people talking, not focusing on the movie, <laughs> cell phones. It, it's just... yeah, it's bad. I'm I'm much more behaved in a movie and theater I, than I most got idiots called, are. And my I got gosh. called a, and I got called a bitch by uh, one of the groups of people. Walking oh out. my like, word! For wanting for getting security, like because I, I couldn't take any more halfway through. It was like I went to get security to watch those fucking people it wasn't right. it wasn't just one group it was like so many people it was like they didn't do a goddamn thing they just kept doing it and i was the one i was the one who got called out for it was like i i, I didn't know what to do i just walked away it's yeah like, yeah i would what the fuck do you do? yeah my best theater experience was the last words of the meter because I had the entire theater to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. get that. I, I personally think my best theater experience was watching Avengers Endgame because I was so excited for it. I had it. two of them like that. I had a uh, 65 and Last Voyage last year to myself. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. But the funnest movie, exp- but the funnest movie experience, watching Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three twice in one day. That was yeah. fun. Mm-hmm. I'd say honestly, best like big experience where there was a lot of people was No Way Home. Yeah, no way. Yeah, was, that was great. So what else do you got, Dylan? We're, yeah, we're I say all we can say is to give you a bit of a, a PSA: be quiet. The movie theater, even more interested in concert film, just please be respectful. That's all we had to say. But anyway, uh, I, what else you got? Well, I, I just sorry, I, I had like one more comment to make about that sure. entire fucking debacle. Uh, but before I actually fucking praise right here, right now, because it was actually really fucking good. I liked it. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's it delivering what I was expecting. Um. I get that they were fans. I get that they probably didn't go see movies all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. I understand that. But it does not fucking matter. Nope. They gave... Nope. They gave five minutes before the beginning of the movie. Like, they, there was a counter where they had ghost shit going on on the fucking screen, allowing you to do whatever the fuck you wanted and get it out of the way. Mm-hmm. And people still wouldn't shut the fuck up. The only reason why I didn't fucking say anything was because I was rose ahead of them. If I had been right fucking ahead of them, I would have turned around and been fucking livid. Like, you shut the fuck up or you get the fuck out. One the fucking two. It's unacceptable. And also... You are what's fucking wrong with shit like this. Yeah. Fucking keep acting like that. We're not going to get more fucking concert movies. Quit being fucking annoying. (laughs) Like, if you want to... People are asking why more people aren't going to movies anymore. That's one of the reasons. Yeah. Um, and also, I know we all we all complain about how expensive movie tickets are now. Like concert movie tickets, like the Taylor Swift one and like the Beyonce one that I went to see, like those are even more expensive. Like those are event ticket prices. Like yeah. those are super high. Like, like you're really you're gonna spend that much money and do that shit. Well. I, I, I will clo- uh, I will clarify. These tickets were actually cheaper than uh, normal. Mm, really? Like they were about fifteen bucks each, roughly. Hmm. So it wasn't bad. That's pretty good. Much more expensive. So. Well, I I mean it, it it's ghosts like like they they aren't the massive name that like Taylor Swift and Beyonce are. Right. They're they're but. they're definitely up there. Like they've gotten a lot of a, a lot of traction. There's a huge fandom behind them. Mm-hmm. There's a big uh, difference between being big in the rock scene nowadays and big in the pop scene. Exactly. Right. Like, everybody fucking knows Taylor Swift. Everybody. Not everybody knows Ghost. Right. Yeah. I, I got a suggestion. Episode title with Dylan Rant. Put that in the description. <laughs> you got to, like, make a chapter mark for that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Put in a chapter mark with it. So, whatever you guys see the Dylan Rant, guys, be entertained. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, what, are, what are movies did you watch? Well, I... I 
I didn't really talk about <laughs> right here or right now other than saying that it fulfilled, but I, I, I'll, I'll make it quick. Uh, it, it was good considering the fact that this was uh, Tobias's first uh, venture into actual, like, legit filmmaking, aside from mm -hmm. making sh uh, short form content for YouTube. Um, since uh, with it being like the first foray, it was really good. I liked it. I, I really liked the script. Um, I, I like how they ended it. It left fans going, what the fuck? <laughs> because uh, the, the entire thing is uh, they're revealing the new, uh, the new quote unquote singer uh, for, for the band. Uh, if, if you know the lore, you know the lore, uh, whatever. Uh, but they, it like cut off right before I know who it fucking is. It's Papa's brother, his, his twin brother. Nice. Um, but, uh, uh, um, no, I, I, I liked it a lot. I think I originally rated it like four out of five, but I ended up bumping it up to uh, four and a half on the second viewing. Uh, just, just, uh, just because of, uh, the volume, it was just a lot easier to hear it the second time around. Even with bitches in my fucking ear from three fucking rows away. Mm -hmm. um, I rewatched Solo. <laughs> Surprise! I yeah, love Solo. <laughs> it's underrated great. too. Yeah, I Matthew. <laughs> hashtag make Solo two happen. Don't say a fucking no. word. Oh. I'm with Matthew. I, I was not into it. <laughs> you, you too. Don't say a fucking word. Well, I'm sorry, Gary, but Dylan and I, we want Solo too. You guys don't want Solo too. So you know what? Star Wars expert on this podcast. Hashtag make Solo two happen. Yeah. Next, I file. Uh, I uh, I watched Castle in the Sky for the first time. From Studio Ghibli. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, three and a half stars. I, I, I really liked it. It's honestly one of my favorites out of the ones I watched. Hmm. Um, I, uh, I rewatched Frozen Empire because I finally got it on physical this past week. Um, I don't know what my original review on it was. I think it was you were four. More positive on it. Yeah, I, I, was, I was really positive. I, I liked yeah, it a lot. I was positive about it too. My biggest criticism, though, was missing scenes and there was not a podcast and there was a little too serious, but I still liked it yeah. for what it was. I, I still haven't watched the deleted scenes or anything to see what all that fills. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I just. I actually liked it a lot better on the second rewatch. Uh, oh. On the rewatch, okay. I, I just I felt like um, I felt like there were parts of it originally that you had to uh, like dial into. Yes, uh, b because there were some plot points that I had to fill in, but that's because I was like hanging on to every single fucking word that came on screen. True. So that uh, I, I just I didn't have to focus as much on the, on the rewatch, and I think I, I enjoyed it more because of it. Uh, I, I I like it. Um, I rewatched uh, *Spirited Away*. Uh, I gave that four and a half, uh, four and a half stars. Uh, I watched *Porco Rosso* for the uh, for the first time, and I gave that one three and a half. Um, I'm trying to rewatch slash watch Ghibli movies for the first time leading up to *Boy and the Heron* since that comes out on physical next week. Um, I I I love Studio Ghibli. I really do. There's some movies I'm worried about because there's one that's like drastically different from everything else they've ever done. What is that one? I can't remember what it's called. I think there, I know what you're talking I, about. I think, let me, let me do some like research. Was animated or something? Well, yeah. that, that was Earwig. Yeah. Uh, but I'm hear, not talking about that one. I'm, I I, there was great. one that was like a back-to-back -back feature with another Ghibli movie, I think. Hmm. I think I was just talking. About. I think it was uh, My Neighbor Totoro and, no, no, and Grave of the Fireflies. Yes, yes. Fireflies one. Fireflies. Oh, okay. Um, I, I haven't seen that one, and I'm... Not sure if I'm ready to see it because I've heard some shit about it. <laughs> I like, I'm going to, but man, <laughs> I didn't hear too many great things about Earwig either. So. Yeah, I, I didn't hear anything about it. No, I, I'm I'm just looking. Grave of the Fireflies is considered one of the best Yubi films. Well, it yeah, I, I haven't heard anything bad about it. It's just like the content that's in it that I've heard shit about. Okay, that that's what I'm not super looking forward to. But I yeah. I, I digress. Yeah, uh, that, that that was it. Uh, yeah. I, I I like Ghibli movies. And I fucking love Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. The few Studio Ghibli movies that I have watched, uh, my favorite so far is The Secret World of Arietti. I love that one. Yeah. Uh, my Name Totoro. I also love that one. That was great. Um, the one with the witch. I can't remember exactly what the title was actually. Oh, was called. uh, 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 Kiki's Delivery Service. Yeah, I think that's the one to watch. I I also love that one. That's really good. So <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen the Studio Ghibli. I haven't seen a Studio Ghibli movie that I haven't liked have yet. I've seen Spirited Away. I need to. That's the definitely yes, movie I need to watch. I, I, like, like I also need crown, to. That's like the crowning achievement. Yeah. I also need to watch Princess Mononoke. I heard lots of great things about yeah. that one, too. Yeah. Uh, Mononoke, uh, did you ever watch Star Wars uh, Visions? Uh, no. No. Okay. Um, they're, uh, one of the episodes of Star Wars Visions, um, The Village Bride, 
um, is very Princess Mononoke coded. Okay, nice. So, if you want, I I would recommend watching Visions just in general. But yeah. watch Village Bride and then watch uh, Princess Mon- uh, Mononoke. Because I hadn't seen Mon- uh, Mononoke before I watched uh, Village Bride. Okay. And so when everybody was like, oh, I, I, I get it. Um, watch, watch them back to back. Regardless of the order, but watch them back to back. It, it pairs really well. It's super cool. Okay, so Mononoke, Star Wars Vision, and uh, just just those two things. Yeah, uh, you don't even have to watch all of Visions. I, again, I recommend it. Yeah. Uh, but just if when you go to watch uh, Mononoke, watch Village Bride with it. Okay. Like it. Like they are both super similar. Like it feels okay. Really, really good. I'll definitely watch it. Definitely yeah. watch it. Uh, that that was my last one. All right. Who is ready for trivia? Not me. me. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I didn't get a week to prepare. <laughs> uh, well, you'll be happy to know this trivia question will have the movie title right in it. It better. <laughs> okay. I in hope it's one of them. Two thousand ones, Hannibal. Mm-hmm. What was Julianne Moore most scared of during filming? Um, hmm. It was something weird. Uh, oh, three points. You said Hannibal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Scott. This is a movie I don't like at all. Um, okay, yeah, I've I, never seen I it. would. I, if I have to take yeah. the, I mean, I guess I was gonna make a typical guess, but I guess whatever Garrett says, I'll go with him because. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> Sounds about right. I would say it's. Um, I'm taking a swing here. Uh, fake blood. <laughs> I don't know what other shit's in it, so I. And Matthew saw it go over there. He's like, no, that's not right. I know why the look of his face. I feel like uh, it's probably going to be like a sound uh, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On like second thought, on second thought Garrett, minor. I think I might do a different answer. I would say she was scared of Anthony Hopkins' character because he was. Hopkins. Because, Hopkins. Hopkins. Sorry. We've I'm so sorry. You on this like six I'm times sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. People say Gal Gadot or good or Gadot, depending on, or, uh, depending on how they say it. Um, I'm not gonna say my, okay. I'm not gonna say the one that I purposely. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, again, I'm so sorry. I was I was close enough there. You're good. Um, you're good. You're good. Um, but yeah, I would say when she was scared of him because Hannibal is considered a pretty scary character. That's what I heard. So I'll go with that. Dylan. My guess is something sound related. I I don't know. I haven't seen it. I saw the Silence of the Lambs and I wasn't a big fan. So I haven't mm-hmm. checked out any of the other movies. Okay. I I want to check out the show though. You guys are all wrong. Okay. She's scared of cows. I figured it'd be I, something whoa. super fucking minor. Okay. Wait a minute. I she was scared of cows. I was in the movie. I can't. How is cows scary? Yeah, she's scared of cows. So when I don't there was even a scene with cows. I've only seen this movie by. once, and that was years ago. I don't remember. What's there so being scary cows about anywhere. cows? Cows is not that scary. <laughs> Well, I mean, a, I mean, people got a, different experiences. There's a scene where so. they're in like yeah, a, that's true. there are people that are scared of monkeys, they're in, and they're in like a barn well, yeah. house, and there's like uh, some farm animal. I can't remember. Their that would be my best guess is that it's like a meat factory or something. That Actually, is, they're like pigs or something. Uh, that is the definition of a trivia question. Yeah. Well, it oh is. yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so zero points for that this week. Don't blame me. I didn't. You weren't prepared. No, I fucking wasn't. <laughs> Um, let's see. What will next week be? Oh, God. Um, uh, I think we're going to do 80s comedy. Oh, okay. 80s comedy. Okay. okay. I, s- I think I see a few, but... That's a massive range. <laughs> There's a lot of goodies in in the 80s. Comedy, yeah. yeah. Shit. So, we are discussing... Finally. <laughs> <laughs> After an hour. Movies that killed their franchise. This is going to be a fun one. There's quite a few. Um, I think we could just start by saying if a movie has resurrection in the title, it killed the franchise. <laughs> or <they're> like, yeah. <laughs> alien re- a- yeah, Alien Resurrection. Alien um, Resurrection. Matrix yeah, Resurrection. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Anything that has the word resurrection, well, it's going to suck. Res- Matrix Resurrection. Wait. Yeah, I at first I thought it, at first it was I thought it was uh, revolut. You can say honestly both revolution. Well, revolutions was intended as the ending to a trilogy. It just yeah. wasn't a good one. 
I, um, I didn't think it was horrible compared to Re- Re- Resurrections. I can't stand. I can't stand Revolutions. It's so long. There's a reason why boring. I have not watched The Matrix yet. It's the, because the, of because of I, those the, two the sequels. The first one is one of my favorite all time favorite yes. movies, and yeah, after that just. Goes downhill. John, you need to watch the Matrix. Now, Resurrection, I Matrix know. Resurrection, I actually didn't think was that bad. I still um, haven't seen it. Really? It, I didn't think it was that bad. Like, it I has problems it. for sure, but like, I, I like the concepts. I don't think it was executed that great, but like, I like it. I like it more than Revolutions. I just think it was completely unnecessary. The it, it was story unnecessary. Ended with Revolution. I it get ended that. Ended on a good note, mm-hmm. and then they're like, "Oh, guess what? We're back in the Matrix." <laughs> Toy Story Four. Uh, yeah. I can say the same thing about that, too. <laughs> Very funny, dude. Very hey, funny. Hey, I stand by it. I stand by it. Well, I'm not wrong. You know, they were doing they were doing the meta thing, um, which I, in some ways I actually I dig the meta thing. It, for me, it was like almost like um, a riff on like something similar to like New Nightmare, which also was very meta and, you know, about the Freddy Krueger thing in that one, and they – did something very similar to that with Re- Resurrections. New Nightmare is actually one of my favorites. Yeah, I love. New I'd Nightmare. say it's probably third. I'd say Dream Warriors, the original, and then New Nightmare. Yeah, yeah. It's Resurrections, despite my, I have like divided thoughts on it. It it did horribly at the box office, and we're probably not going to get or another that was Matrix. COVID too. Oh, we're getting another one. It's been confirmed. Are you serious? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, new writers though. Uh, the Wachowskis are just producing. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Wachowskis have a very shoddy track record right now, so um, yeah. I think that's probably for the best. The last good thing was honestly V for Vendetta, I think. Yeah, I didn't see Cloud Atlas. I didn't, I didn't either. I, I, didn't very poor, I have for very poor things about that. Yeah, I have too. Um, Jupiter Ascending was... <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh fuck! <laughs> all I heard about here. Jupiter, all I heard about Jupiter setting was gorgeous visuals, but it was a mess. Terrible. <laughs> just gorgeous terrible. visuals, right? It did not ascend. I it descended. Just, there's a lot. I'm not. There's a line that Mila Kunis has in it where she goes, "Okay, I love, I love dogs. I've always loved dogs." <laughs> <laughs> and it's meant to be serious. Oh God! Wow. Oh my god. It is a painful piece of crap. No, she repeats it twice. <laughs> Did she, she really? It twice. <laughs> That's the movie I refuse to watch. It's, so it's kind of it that is a kind of funny it that move it, it is so bad it's kind of funny in certain yeah. areas, but it is bad. Yeah. Um but no, back to franchise killers. Um Yeah, Alien Resurrection uh were they trying to d- <sighs> were they trying to do other alien movies after that? Yeah. Yes, they were, yeah, unfortunately. That, that that pretty much killed yeah. the plan. I will stand uh, on record by saying it's the worst film ever made. I will stand by alien that. Wars. Alien Resurrection? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the worst film ever made. Bad. I'm sorry. I, I it's so far. bad. Um, but Matthew, and I, we about about me, bad. Matthew and I laughed at it, though. It was pretty funny for how really, really bad it it's was just, when yeah. we watched it. Just a, just a train wreck of a movie. Um, because if you don't count the Predator movie, the AVP movies, yeah, there was I'm also gonna, I'm like also gonna years. throw uh, AVP Requiem in there because <laughs> that that in terms of like I know some people don't consider those canon to the right. Alien or the Predator They're movies. They're technically not. Um, I think Requiem is the worst like Alien or Predator movie in either franchise. Oh. That movie is just horrendously bad. I have it. You can't even watch. That movie is infamous for being so poorly lit. Like, you try watching that movie, it is so dark. Like, yep. not, like, like conceptually. Like, the movie is so dark to look at, you can't tell what the fuck is happening. Right. It is, That's what I heard. Like, the cinematography is so horrible in that movie. Like, you can't even watch it and enjoy, like, the, like, the effects or the, like, fight scenes. Like, it's just... It's terrible. Like, it, the acting is... Ugh. It's so um, dark, it makes the Batman look like it was shot in the middle of the day. Like, the Batman <laughs> is easier to, like, yeah. to follow. Because, yeah. yeah, totally. Like, but no, like, you can see, like, behind-the-scenes videos on Requiem where the directors were literally trying to make it as dark as they could. Like, so, like, they, that's, like, they tried to make it as dark as they could, and it's just, no. Do they not know how to work a camera? Apparently you, not. For those of you don't, that don't know, you make the room bright and mm-hmm. you bring it down. Post. <laughs> there's a way to exactly. make um. 
there's a way to make a movie darkly lit, but still make it like so you can where you can still look at it and tell what's happening. Like the Batman is a good example yes. of that. The, yeah, the movie is darkly lit, but you can, but it's still it's still well shot and all that stuff. Like that's a good example of that. Or you don't shoot in um, pitch black conditions. Yeah, you shoot in pitch black. You're just a bad filmmaker. Yeah, <laughs> so. hey, and and how and how do you insult your fan base? By rephrasing the most iconic and line in the first t- Predator movie when they said, get, get to the chopper, yeah. which, the, don't fuck, do fuck that! You. Just fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, um, no, they were trying, to, the movie, that movie also, like, hard, like, sets up for, like, more, and, yeah. like, no. Get out of here. I cannot wait um, to bring all these together. Yeah, Requiem <laughs> is just awful. Um, and <laughs> what sucks is, is that you can tell by like the, like the set photos that they had good costumes, they had good practical effects in there. Yeah. But you can't tell looking at it because no. it's so poorly done. Um, and I'm also gonna throw the 2018 Predator in there because oh yeah, a movie I also fucking hate. Yes. Um, a movie that uses autism in such a stupid fucking way. Oh um, yeah. Avenger, oh a, god. Another movie that it makes the Predator. A fucking like the the predator species a fucking joke. Yep. Um, for like, and Sh- I love Shane Black. I don't know what the hell he was thinking with so much so much of that movie. Yeah. The predator dogs. What the hell? Um, <laughs> the, I kind of like them. The alpha predator was was done horribly with like bad CG. Um, mm. the the ending of the movie just completely devolves into a CGI mess. Um, and then it. The stu- one of the stupidest uses of franchise like set up at the end where it basically has that stupid ass Iron Man Iron Man armor with the Predator shit. Like Yeah, yeah. I, I get wow. you. So fucking stupid. Like I me and my dad saw that in the theater and there was not many people in the theater uh when like we saw it opening night. We were we both looked at each other like Fuck this movie! You just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I think when we rank them, I think we could agree those are the bottom three for all of our. The Predator lists. is fucking terrible. Yeah, and 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 I always say this, and I'm gonna take this real seriously. I take autism way seriously. Mm. Um, autism people, they're special. Okay, they're they're great special. Don't treat them like idiots. And what I heard in the Predator that they treat this uh, uh, autism it's, it's uh, so character it's like uh, like an idiot. That's so stupid. I'll tell you what and they it's said also, after that's the not even. Yeah. Oh no! Because no, okay. it's it's now also it's not just like um with the Jacob Tremblay who, who is autistic in the movie. It's also the movie also just makes jokes out of like Tourette's with Thomas Jane's character. And yeah, it's just it's insulting. Like it it, it's just fucking awful. Yeah. Now with the movie Wonder, they use the visual effect. They use visual effects on the yes. b- boy character to make it look like it, that he had a real disease, but they treat it and they respected it yeah. and everything between. It's it's wonderful the yeah. way they do that film. I will tell you the joke after the episode. See, that's another thing too. Don't do autism jokes. It's yep, not yep. funny. I, it's yeah, not. I, I will tell you exactly what was said so you're prepared when you watch it. In, yeah. In what, oh, God. Yes. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. So The, the whole go. movie just felt like a, a Saturday Night Live skit for the most part. Like, oh no, it's it's almost like a Predator parody. It's oh! in several moments. Well, you know? I mean, I mean, one of the key a key and Peel characters was in the film, so yeah, Keegan Michael Key. Yeah, even he sucked in it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, and I, I like Keegan. his performance like, in Toy Story Four like is Keegan far Michael better Key, than that. <laughs> no. I don't think anyone was really that good in it. So, yeah, moving I've, on from The Predator. I've only seen two of those in theaters. I seen uh, Sadly, I saw that one in theaters. I seen Prometheus <laughs> and I saw Predators. Pre- Predators was okay. I really I, enjoy it. Yeah, I pre- compared to The Predator, Predators is is the the original. Yeah. So, yeah. Moving on from the uh AV, the Alien and Predator franchises, where do we go to next? <laughs> Halloween <laughs> Resurrection. <laughs> yep. Um, this the, franchise is the, so the, the confusing. Franchise was going downhill, oh like was already going downhill, but that was just like, that was just like, what the hell are we doing here? <laughs> like it was be, I mean, it was becoming scary movie at that point. Like having Busta Rhymes in there, uh, <laughs> wearing the Michael Myers mask, and 
Busting Michael I mean, Myers' the balls. Ma- the ma- <laughs> probably one of the worst Michael Myers masks ever. Um, hey, and that's what some, happened. <laughs> and there's some bad ones in there, but like, it's it was it was becoming like a lesser version of John. You're at 14. That was not a pun. That so, really well, what happened? A lesser version of I know what you did last summer. At that point, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Just Pud's never doing. <laughs> probably, in my opinion, I look for every excuse. I know. <laughs> I there's know. a lot of people who have different. Uh, debates on actually no that's I stand by that resurrection is not the worst Halloween two. um Bobby. that's one of them I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> say I'm gonna say Halloween see. six curse of Michael okay, Myers I've not that's seen that probably one. the worst of them mm. um and there's, that, uh, some, there's some bad ones for is sure. That the one with Paul Rudd. Yeah, that's yep, that's in my opinion. That's the worst one. It's there were two so different cuts. There was the theatrical version and the producer's cut. Which how the fuck does that even are, work? Both of them are bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I, producer's I cut. Producer's what cut was not a, was not much. It's better. not director's cut. It's the producer's cut. It's weird. That whole the, that whole story is just weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, so, I think and that the like wines, Paul and the wine the wine scenes were involved with it. So. <laughs> Oh, I of think course. Paul Rudd in a Halloween he's movie could work, he's but that did not work. No. He, his performance is bad. And no. I love Paul Rudd. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, I, I feel like if they would have done it now, it would have worked really well. Yeah, because I feel like he's evolved enough Paul as Rudd an actor now. to make anything work at this point. I think that was. I think that was like his first role. Yeah, that so. that was super early in his career. Yeah. Not good. Thank God that he did much better work after that. <laughs> that yeah. I think. I but. I that's my least favorite movie in the franchise, but that I don't think it killed it. Resurrection because after Halloween Six, we got H two O, which was decent. Is, was it decent, yeah, yeah. And it, most fans seem to enjoy it, but Resurrection was what <laughs> that that fucking killed it. Well, just like so. the opening scene in general, fucking yeah. put a nail in, the, uh, in yeah. that line. Bringing I mean, the, Jamie, the continuity is so confusing, dude. Like, there's so many continuities. Like, Curtis get your in there just together to in the first five minutes. So. Yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I already know what Awful. happened in Resurrection. They killed all Jamie Lee Curtis. And then they like, remade why? It. Why? And then they remade it with two movies, and then you can e- you can even say those. Killed the franchise for a yep. bit until we got the Blumhouse one. Again, so. how the fuzz does that even work? <laughs> so yeah, that's that's Halloween. Um, let's just get the one that everyone's gonna bring up, uh, like right now. Let's just say, uh, like, let's just say it in unison. Three, two, one. Batman, Batman and, Robin, and Robin. Of course, yeah. Batman and Robin. When it when it comes to <laughs> killing franchises, uh. Everyone's gonna bring this up. Um, George Clooney hated it. Uh, Chris O'Donnell hated it. Joel Schumacher Parker. hated it. <laughs> Everyone was, hated it's, it. It's it's the, it's the biggest punching bag in comic book in comic book movie history. Yep. <laughs> I don't know um, other ones too. I mean, I I don't think it's the worst. No, it's no, definitely it's not a, the worst. It's definitely a bad movie. Um, but there's definitely there's definitely enjoyable parts in it for sure. Like what killed the franchise? Iron, ironically. Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Ironically, for sure, but like, yeah, uh, yeah. Then, w- of course, um, and but and we have to respect it for giving us uh, the Nolan trilogy. Uh, yep, sure without Batman and so. Robin, we would have never got the whole yep. trilogy of great movies. True. We'll just jump over to the other one now, Superman Four. Yep, uh, probably. Uh, it's definitely my top three worst comic book films yeah, of all it, time. Um, I so much prefer Batman and Robin over this. It, it, it's oh, probably I'm my, pretty sure it's I would probably too. my <laughs> second least favorite comic book film ever. Like it is just like Batman and Robin is bad, but like at least like you, you can tell like it had money behind it. Yes, Superman right. Four looks like a fucking like a tax like it was like funded by the fucking mafia. Like <laughs> it's so oh god, it, it's hey, hey, so hey, hey. bad. That's dude. a diss on the mafia. I, I, it is. It is. <laughs> Superman four looks like it was made for like five bucks. Like it compared to like the first. Whoa! Compared to like the first three movies, like like I don't care what you feel about like the 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 seventy eight Superman movie. Like it's you can tell like it's a little you like. Obviously, some of the effects in that don't hold up now because it's from 1978. But like, there's so much Im- more impressive stuff about that compared to like Superman Four, which like they reuse so many of the same <laughs> shots yeah. over and over again with Christopher Reeve. And I already seen quips of it. I thought, how do you make look it this horrendous? Bad. Wow, mm-hmm. the, some of the worst blue screen you you'll ever see in your life. Um, 
like the Chroma King is <laughs> un- unforgivable. Uh, <laughs> the like the worst one of the worst villains ever made with fucking nuclear man. <laughs> and that uh, that villain does not exist. And, no, cl- and it, clearly it's Gene Hackman doing a, a terrible dub dub over him. And, <laughs> yeah, uh, Gene Hackman is. Uh, of course, destroy is, Superman. Yeah, um, in Gene Hackman's in the movie as Lex Luthor, yeah, even yeah. though he wasn't in the third one. Um, cl- and clearly, Gene Hackman is phoning it the fuck in <laughs> for the entirety of the movie. Um, clearly, uh, just doing it for a paycheck. Yeah, Superman for. Ooh, I say there's five superhero movies that are worse. What's up, Catwoman? Yeah, yep, that's my number one yep. worst. That's fucking need to rewatch Catwoman. Woman. What, what Steel with Shaquille O'Neal. Yep. Uh, um, the unreleased 1994 Fantastic Four. Mm-hmm. Yep. The 97 Justice League movie. <laughs> which I, <laughs> I <laughs> have ne- had never even heard of. I so. never heard yeah, of it either. Was, I, I found out on YouTube. That's how bad. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Oh, man. Actually, okay, so I was wrong. There's four. <laughs> Those four are the worst. Okay. I'm pretty sure. It, um, I'm pretty sure that it makes the 2017 Justice League look better after it 97. Does. It, oh, it, it does. Does. Yeah, Thank yeah, God. Yeah. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman are not even in it. Yes. Wait, what? How? Yeah. They're not one of the founding members. How do you not yeah. put Batman and Superman in your Justice League it's movie? Fire Knight are fucking yeah. founding How? members. How? Flash, Martian Manhunter, Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern. Huh? Yep. Not John yeah. or Hal. Fire and Ice and the Atom. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We might okay, have to do that, a live stream for that, that too. Also I need me, I need to see that for myself. I'm down yeah, for it. Um <laughs> cuz there were there were there were weird co- like comic book tries in the 90s before like the boom. Yeah. Uh, that's one of them. There's also a, an, a Generation X movie. Yeah. That was l- run on Fox that was going to oh, be a, a series. Yeah, Generation yeah. X. This yeah. was going to be a series and this was like a pilot. You can watch it on YouTube, okay. I think. It's bad quality. There's no DVD release. I I think there is a I Mutant don't... X TV show, which is like a knockoff of X Men. This is a, this is not Mutant X. This okay. is this is called Generation X. It's so poorly made. That's uh, the probably... same one where the actor who played Banshee also voiced Banshee in X Men, right? The the anime. I series. don't know about that. Um, but I've I've se- I've seen it. It's fucking terrible. There's a oh. Power Pack TV pilot. I've not seen that yet. Yeah. I haven't fucking There's seen also... that. We're, this is not probably on topic with franchise killers. There's also the the Nick Fury like um, David Go. Hasselhoff one. I've yeah. seen that. It's a, it's not horrible. Really? Okay. It, it's very mid. Like it's not bad, but it's not good either. Mm. Okay. It's very like '80s TV, like A Team type thing. Have any of you guys seen a uh, Dolph Lundgren's Punisher movie? No, I no. have not. I haven't either. Definitely heard of it. I've heard I, I can't it. find it. I think it's for obvious reasons. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. I don't yeah. think any yeah. of the uh, spirit. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, that is, oh my god, the spirit. Fuck they were, that they movie. They wanted to do a franchise, so that is a franchise killer. <laughs> that movie is <laughs> atrocious. <laughs> I, that, right over there. I, I, he- I heard yeah. of it. <laughs> <laughs> after, after Sin City, like, and it had. Um, you saw it on the screen, folks. And having, um, what's his name, Frank Miller direct it. What the fuck? <laughs> the, yeah, that's that's in my top five worst comic book films ever. That is. Where, where would you rank Madam Web? That's that might be. That's definitely in top ten for sure. Um, Duh. <laughs> hey, but anyway, so so we got aggression out of Dylan and Garrett today. <laughs> Dude, the spirit is fucking terrible. <laughs> like, oh my god. Uh, the Dark Tower. Yeah, this was yeah. so disappointing on so many levels. Well, I mean, this, there's a lot of stuff that could have worked, and it just fucking didn't. Like, literally, like, you had such, you have material that many, many readers compared to, like, Lord of the Rings, like, yeah. and Dune, and yet you don't adapt those the stories. You, you put it after the events of the story, and... It, you shove all this shit in there in a, like an hour and a half long movie. What the hell were? You, what the hell did you expect from this? <laughs> like, the books were like sixteen hundred pages. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I, well, I wonder what Stephen King thinks of that movie. Like, 
I've, I've never heard him talk about it. Um, He's probably too scared to talk about <laughs> yeah, it. <laughs> probably. But, but but like I said in last week's podcast when the audio got lost, I said that maybe I would like it. Maybe I'll enjoy no, it more. Just, but I think you could it enjoy such, it. I, I do enjoy I it. Compa- I, I compare it. I compare it to like Last Airbender, like that kind of adaptation is like mm. such little respect for the source material, like such um such wasted potential. Yes. Like, y- you had such great potential and yeah, just y- And you know the movie's disappointing when the trailer was better than the movie. E- even when I saw the trailer even when I saw the trailer, I'm like, something's wrong here. And Sony Sony <laughs> Fucking things up. Huh, like, yeah, really Sony. Show. What a surprise. Um, so, yeah, um, Dark Tower is also a good example of a franchise that could have been. Yeah. Well, we are getting it. Well, as a TV show, yes. as a TV show by Mike Flanagan. Yes. Who is, I think, a genius. Yes. So, yeah. So, it's actually, in the way, this might be a good thing the franchise died. Yeah. Because... <laughs> That's might be one of the cases where it turned Either out better. Either like, you do it no as one. a TV show, or you adapt each book because there's there's several books. Yeah, and you, I mean, you can make three hour movies out of each book. Yeah, like yeah. You do with Lord of the Rings. Yeah, like you have to, you really have to pay respect to it. You don't half ass that shit. And so. do like Lord of the Rings with the director's cut. Make the movie three hours and then like a mm-hmm. four and a half hour director's cut. Actually, I actually prefer the theatrical theatrical versions of Lord of the Rings. Oh, I, I like the, really? I like the extended versions, but like I, I do prefer to watch the theatrical versions. Is it just because of like the runtime, or? I'm, yeah, I'm curious. and I I think the theatrical versions just flow a little better for me. Okay, so. yeah, I, I get you, I get you. Yeah. I need to rewatch Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Uh, do you have another one before I can go next? Um, yeah, I'll throw a, a few horror uh horror ones at you. Um. Uh, going in, into uh, Friday the Thirteenth, um, Jason goes to hell. Um, I mean, you, I can argue that uh, Friday the Thirteenth, uh, Part Eight, what Jason takes Manhattan, and then um, Jason goes to hell. I can throw both those into there because both movies are horrible. Um, Paramount's last movie with that franchise was uh, Manhattan. That movie sucked and did, made no money. Um, and was a, was a huge box. I don't know if it made no money. It was just a huge box office disappointment. Um, fans hated it. And um, then New Line picked it up with uh, Jason Goes to Hell. That movie might have been even worse. And um, did even made less money. And then the, tr- the franchise disappeared until um, Freddy vs. Jason. No, X going to give it to you. Oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> J- Jason X. How could I forget? <laughs> but um, Jason in no, space. It, like, uh, Jason goes to hell. Came out like ninety three, and it took like like eight. Yeah, like, it was two thousand one. Like when, nine yeah, years yeah. for the next one. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Jason X was two thousand one. So, I actually don't mind that one. Yeah, that one's not that bad it's it's not good but like it's it's entertaining at least especially so. if you're into like sci-fi horror like yeah it's, yeah it's entertaining it's for that. it's dumb fun yeah it has some great kills in it for sure um then i was all then i would also throw um the jaws yeah jaws <laughs> let's get it which that should have never been a franchise to begin no, with it should <laughs> never have been um it's the same concept they, but all they four just movies getting worse and worse and worse uh jaws the revenge what can i say it's one of the worst films ever made one of the worst sequels um one of the dumbest plots ever i will made. never watch the jaws sequels um, i will never it, watch it it's one of the uh it has it has a zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes for a reason. Um, <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to watch this. Yeah, uh, and <laughs> have I'm also fun. Get, I'm also gonna get into Terminator, um, th- which is another franchise that just seem that just cannot seem to find its footing after Terminator Two. What? I like some of the sequels. Um, I'm not gonna. S- I'm gonna throw. Um, I'm gonna throw both. Um, Genesis and Dark Fate in there. Yeah, I was, was going to say. Dark Fate, and, well, Genesis is the worst movie by far. Um, Genesis feels like a fan film with just a higher budget. Um, just it. so bad. I, I I respect you, but like... I'm God, probably, I would probably like it too. God, one of the, one of the worst like 
reboots at a franchise I'd ever seen. Um, so many terrible decisions. Um, Amelia Clark is so miscast as Sarah Connor. Um, yeah, that, that Jai, was a really Jai Courtney is terrible as Kyle Reese. I will agree um, on that. <laughs> yeah, Arnold is used horribly in the movie. Mm. Um, yeah, Arnold just, was more comic relief than anything. Yeah, just a joke. Um, that yeah, for me, Genesis is like the Batman and Robin of um, of the series. I've not watched Dark Fate yet. Dark Fate is a little bit better, but not much in it. Arguably makes even worse decisions. There are actually like, people that actually love that like one. Killing, it's, that that like is the John best John sequel. Connor, like uh, the right away Terminator. in such a unprovoked way. And uh, so it's Jimmy Lee Curtis again from Halloween. Pretty much. Um, <laughs> and it's it's just not both both movies. I Genesis is I think is way worse, but I don't think either movie is good. And arguably. I don't think we're going to get another Terminator movie for at least, like, ten years. It's going to be a reboot. It's going to be a long, long time before we get another Terminator movie. It will be, a, like, an actual reboot if we get one. I think. Yeah. yeah. One reboot. person made a suggestion, do the same thing, like, with Prey, like, less budget. And so yeah, you can actually make your exactly. movie great. Which I I would respect that. So And Prey, yeah. Yeah. If we didn't, yeah, if we didn't get the Predator, then we wouldn't have gotten Prey. That's true. A good point. All right. uh, but uh, what's next in the franchise killer uh, category? Um, I think that was it. Oh, uh, Terminator oh. was my last one. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, I. Well, oh boy, I, I, we I mean, uh, Superman 4, I mean, that was on my list. So, that's already been out. Alien Resurrection, already been on there. That's already been out. Batman and Robin, that's out too. Die Another Day, James Bond. Yeah, that's a bad one. Hmm. Yeah, which I, I just what, saw it off the top of my head. That's yeah. not a good one. Oh, okay. Terrible. What so a, it's such a bad ending to one of my favorite bonds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I threw in one movie that I, I actually have never seen, but it was considered a franchise killer, and then I threw in the other four movies that I have seen before. You haven't seen it. Well, there, there's a reason for that uh, why I haven't seen it, but I had to include it in there. Uh, Planet of the Apes, two thousand one. Um, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, they they had a lot. They had yeah. a lot. Yeah, and for yeah, this. and this is strange for me because I actually have never seen the original. I seen the prequel trilogy, but I never seen the original. I'm pretty right. sure I will love the original. Right. But I heard that the other one, fantastic visuals, great action, and some good performances. But I heard the movie as a whole is a it's mess. Bad. It's I heard it's a mess. I mean, it's Tim Burton. What do you expect? It doesn't, it doesn't even feel like a Tim Burton movie. It has none of his style in Mark it. Mark Wahlberg, it has, like seriously? It's so it's 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 a boring movie. It has actors who it's it, painful. It it it's, it has great actors and has some amazing makeup by Rick yeah, Baker. Yeah. But and like, what the fudge was just, up with that plot the, twist? The ending <laughs> makes no sense at all. One of the most nonsensical plot twists of all time. Um, it, it's just it's a colossal misfire. Yeah. So. Well, you're gonna laugh. You're gonna laugh when when I tell you this, and this is 100 percent true. He actually said that the ending was not supposed to make sense. Tim yeah. Burton said that. Someone said that. Yeah. Well, Which, even Tim Burton doesn't <laughs> like the movie. No. And when when Tim Burton was asked if you if you ever want to direct a sequel, he says, and I quote, "I'd rather jump out of the window." Yeah, Which, I've seen that. Yeah. The, yeah. Studio, the studio, I think, hard fucked him on that movie. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, um, I don't think I'll ever watch that movie. Probably, I probably never will. <laughs> okay, now onto the movies that I have seen before. Uh, starting off with. Star Trek, it's time to change batteries, Nemesis. <laughs> That's yeah. I do like to call it. Yeah, um, this one was so confusing. Like, I, if you guys are not checking out the Star Trek uh, episode, go check it out. We have, we have much fun with yeah, that Yeah, we episode. did a full ranking. Yeah, yeah, it was very fun. Uh, but, I, yeah, I, it I was. everybody off. Yeah. <laughs> but, that film, that <laughs> but that film was so confusing. And when Roger Ebert said that it's time to change new batteries for this franchise, you know that it just didn't work for you. Yeah. And it's a shame, because I love the Generations cast. Um, I personally think all of them did a great job in these movies, but this one was just... I, I couldn't tell you what the story was about, honestly. It definitely, it felt, it felt like the least Star Trek of like the next generation Yeah, film. and like, we need to get a new one with, like, until... Insurrection, uh, Insurrection's not great either. Like It's definitely not favorably like talked about. Right. Most fans, I liked but, like, it, but... It, at least that one at least had the star more Star Trek of 
more the Star Trek DNA in it. Yeah. Nemesis felt more like just like a run of the mill like studio film. Yeah. I'm still so. trying to figure out the brother twin thing. I can't yeah. figure that out, honestly. Um, but yeah, we didn't get a new one until it was rebooted in 2009, which mm -hmm. was a great decision. All right, next one on the list. Now, I will tell you the next three movies. I personally like these movies, but they were considered franchise killers. So, starting off with Jurassic Park 3. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was not supposed to be the last Jurassic Park film. Nope. They were supposed to make another one, but two things held it back. Well, there were lots of things, more than two, but I'm always going to give out two. One, at a very troubled production. There were rewrites, they and the running time was shorter, uh, well, actually, it was supposed to be longer than 90 minutes, and boy, does it show. Like, they they went, they started filming without a completed script. Yeah! Like, that's crazy to me. Like, how do you do it without a completed script? Best it, part it of the happen, It happens actually a lot more than you think. Yeah. And yeah. Most of the time, it does not end well. Yeah. Best part of the movie, though, I wish we would have got the Spinosaurus again. Yeah, that's, that's like true. It's, the it's a cool. the Spinosaurus I like cool. the Spinosaurus, but yeah. overall, the movie sucks. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, was the best part was that. Personally, when the personally the it was so short. Yeah. It was. Yeah, personally, I like... I, I, I really like this movie for all the craziness. I gave it four and a half out of five stars. I actually really like the movie because I'm a Jurassic Park freak, but it definitely is the least uh, best of the I Jurassic will, Park movies. I will say, the cool. original, I I, I will yeah. say yeah. of yeah, it's the weakest of the three. It's in my opinion, it's not the worst of them. Of no, that no, goes, no, that no. goes to Dominion. The, the pterodactyl. <laughs> I love Dominion more. Me. So that, that's basically Dominion yeah. is my is my Dominion by far made the my worst. Top ten that year. Best. It made my top ten too. Fuck. I think it was number eight. Oh, Wait, God. was that the original cut or the extended? The extended. Okay, yeah, even, okay. Uh, I can make an excuse for I'm the extended. Extended was good. Extended it's my second favorite Jurassic it, it Park movie. Good. I will defend else, that movie I with a passion. I imagine watching a ver another, uh, any version of that movie. <laughs> yeah, I will again. defend Dominion. I will defend that film. But, uh, but I yeah. Defend, I defend Fallen Kingdom more than I should. I, I do love Fallen Kingdom too. I, I cannot defend Dominion. It's easier to defend Fallen Kingdom because most of it is at least okay. Dominion's got a Dominion lot of shit going have on. Been <laughs> at least more entertaining, and it wasn't. Oh my god! But anyway, uh, but yeah, we didn't get a new Jurassic Park movie until Jurassic yeah, World he... came out in 2015, Jesus. which was was a great decision uh, yeah. that they actually brought it back and. Chris Pratt's star power also helped, too. So yes. There yeah. you go. Yeah. So, I like Jurassic Park 3, but that was definitely with the franchise killer. Now, before I say the next one on the list, I just want to let you know, guys, as an action movie expert, for these people to say it's the worst thing ever, it's a bit overhyped. So, that's why I want to give you a bit of a heads up before I say the next movie title. A Good Wait, Day to Die. Uh, uh, a Good Day to Die Hard. Yeah. yeah. Now, that was considered a oh. franchise killer. Now... I saying this uh, uh, when I said that it's not that bad. It's not that bad, guy. I mean, I still think the action scenes is great, and I do think that there's uh, it's a uh, very fun. Garrett but it, but it was a franchise killer because, and it was because, despite the fact, it made a lot of money at the box office. Wait, a good day to die hard made. No, it, it, it did. It made over $300 million. It Prince. was a box office hit. It was. I thought it was a flop. Nope. It made money. <laughs> I'm dead serious, dude. Look it up. It did make money. It was a box office hit. It was. Wow. And 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 they were supposed to they were supposed to do Die Hard 6, but they decided to cancel it. So But anyway, but yeah, it was a franchise killer, and it was because fans were just they just didn't care for the story that much. I didn't wow. mind I didn't mind now, the story. Yet, so now here, here it didn't do that well. It, it did well make overseas. it. It did. It made it did well overseas for some fucking reason. <laughs> yes, it did. I don't know. They must love Bruce Willis over there. <laughs> so I don't know. When we're when I'm going through this video editing, we're gonna zoom in on some spots. We're gonna get some close ups of Garrett's face and do some beats. God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Man, I can't believe. Sign I, me up. I can't believe I forgot to bring up Die Hard Five. I. <laughs> Die Hard 5. Well, I did it for you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just painful to me. But how is it painful, though? Like, come on, dude. John McClane it's not that is not bad. not a fucking superhero. Like, it... <laughs> like it he wasn't Live Free or Die Hard! <laughs> and he was great in that one. Live Free or Die Hard was... I mean, it, it does make that mistake, too, but, like... It sort of makes it, sense. It, like, it, at least it had, you know, action scene, like... 
fairly good action sequences, and like it had it somewhat of a better story. This and, is like, so fun. The the father son. Di- I I I have nothing against Jai Courtney. He fucking sucks as an actor. Uh, no. Well, I thought he was fine in this movie, and the, I even liked him in Suicide I, Squad. The only thing I remotely like enjoy him in is uh, as Captain Boomerang. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Suicide Squad. Other than that, <laughs> other I can't think of a single good performance he's given. But anyway, Maybe he's um, the, I've heard yeah. he's like okay in like a few TV shows. But I haven't seen them. Yeah, so. but honestly, the peop the people that was trying to make Die Hard six don't I, make him I, a leading man. Like, just <laughs> do not even make him a leading man. The people that that was trying to make Die Hard six, honestly, I feel bad that it was canceled because I would have liked to see the movie end up on a good note for the fans because the first four movies are great, and I still think the fifth movie is good, but it's just you know and that's also, what that's what happens and also when for me like Bruce Willis. I mean. That was the beginning where, like, Bruce Willis was just, like, sleepwalking through so many roles. Like, Well, he did have like, a bit of a I, condition I, years now, later. Now, now with con- with that context, yeah. I, complete- I completely understand. Yeah. yeah. But, like, it still doesn't make the movie any better. And it, I, I still can't defend the performance. Gotcha. So. You seen some of, like, the later movies, like some of the action movies he's done? The sci-fi I, I ones, just, the copious no, amount of like sci-fi the, ones, like all no, the, just the like ones. all the directed DVD movies. Yeah, is, I no, I just don't. I don't feel like watching Some of them those. Are pretty good. Yeah, um, but that there's so many of those he's in. Uh, I I just don't. There's feel one like, with Frank Grillo. Well, I'll, I'll look it up, and that one's really good. Actually, I checked that one out. Mm. All right. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, good day, Die Hard. That was Deppy. What's the franchise score? Okay. Uh, final one on the list is one of the X Men movies. Now. Dark Phoenix is not on the list only because oh. it's not on the list because they were not going to make any more anyway because oh, yeah. Fox That's already true. had the rights for an MCU so, so that the way they can stand. so they so yeah. they can make so they can make X Men movies. The Last Stand, on the other hand, movie I liked, but it was a franchise killer, and and that's a shame because the first two is awesome. Uh, X two yep. definitely being the best of the original trilogy. So you're really going to stand on the fact that you like this. <sighs> do, you like do you like X Men Three? I did. I did. I, I. 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 personally think the movie is overhated. At least for me. I'll say. I'll. I think it is overhated too. I don't think it's a good movie. I think it's quite bad. But, Kelsey um, Grimmer's beast, though. He's awesome. Yeah. 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 Um, I will say. Um, to go to stay on X Men topic, like, I. I do think we. Maybe this didn't kill the whole franchise, but it definitely definitely killed a a sub series within this franchise. Origins, true, origins that's true. Brain. Yeah, I mean, because yeah. they had so many other origins X Men movies planned out. Yeah, we were this, supposed like, to get Gambit. Man, well, crazy. <laughs> X- origins Wolverine, in my opinion, the worst. They're still X-Men talking film. about that Gambit movie with Channing Tatum. I hope that it's true that he's going to be in DP three. That's all I'm gonna say. I hope so. Whoever yeah. Has it Wesley Snipes is gonna be like Blade as like a supporting character. Cool. That'd be, I'd cool. fucking love that. Honestly, that'd be great. But no, Origins Wolverine is so freaking bad. Yeah. But onto the X Men: uh, The Last Stand. Now, personally, for me, I personally think after Days of Future Past came out, I think people have more appreciation more of The Last Stand after watching Days yeah. of Future Past yeah, because yeah, they so. actually were able to redo the yeah. ending of The Last Stand. Yeah. As much as I do think it's a great movie, there are there there is one mistake that they actually made. You think it's a great movie? I do, I do. I, but, I enjoy it. I, I yeah, will say. but there but there's one mistake that they made though. They did not bring one? back the original director of the first two X Men films because he they, was doing Superman Returns. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm pretty sure Brett Renner. I'm pretty sure he had good intentions probably, and I don't think his directing is. Brett. That that bad. He's just a very controversial guy. Brett Radner, I think, is a hack. Uh, that's also, what I not heard. Not only a bad person, but I think he's a bad director. Yeah, so. yeah, that's what I heard. And I personally think that him being the X-Men director, it sounds good in concept, but looking back at it now, people are going to say, I wish the original director was there. Which I can see why, because he did return to do Days of Future Past, which was a great decision, by the way. Mm-hmm. But the last stand... It, it, it's so weird that I'm defending this movie and I uh, I really really like it, even though Brett Ratner I heard is a douche. So he's, t- he's awful. Yeah, he, was but, he the one behind the uh, Storm script? I don't know. 
I, I can't because I, I I remember that coming out at uh, at a con recently. Or well, not recently. It was a few years ago, where they were like, "Oh yeah, no, the only reason why they got uh, uh, Halle Berry back was because they made Storm this giant character, and then they completely wrote the uh, rewrote the script after she signed on." Huh? I like they that. made a script just for her, so she would sign on and then threw it away. Yeah, mm. Mm. And, and then like the dude walked off the project because of it. Yeah, and the Jean Grey uh, and the, the Jean Grey death. Um, the whole the, they still have they. Still I mean, have I get what they're trying the to thing. do with that death scene, but that's how you take fans off when you do that. You know what I really want? What? I want Marvel to do animated movies like DC does. Direct to DVD animated movies. Mm -hmm. Day the Future Past and the Dark Phoenix Saga. Who I really want. Yeah. They actually do it well this time. Well, yeah. Like, if it's on par with DC's animated stuff. Yeah. Like, mm. yeah. Yeah. Hell, um, season two of, uh, they are doing a season two of 97, aren't they? Right. Yeah, they are. Did this... Days of Future Past is going to be part of that, yeah. Yeah. Now, did the original show run, did they ever do the Dark, Dark Phoenix, Phoenix Yeah. Okay. It was uh, like the second season, I think. Okay. I, I can't so, remember. So they've already done that. Okay. Yeah. But we'll get Days of Future Past now. Cool. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but like I said, I, I like The Last Stand, but that was not supposed to be the last Batman movie. I mean, yes, it did make money. Yes, fans went to go see it, but it's just one of those things where people it. want uh, people want to forget the film even, even existed, but... Yeah. Again, it's weird that I'm defending this movie even though uh, it just was not the best correcting decision. I can't criticize Superman Returns yet because I haven't watched it yet, which I will do a Superman ranking next year, so that's going to be coming. I really enjoy Superman Returns. I, I, I definitely... I'm not, I, yeah, I grew I, up I, with I, it. I find it very... I, I fall asleep watching it. I'm it so, is very slow. It's it's boring to me. Yeah. Now, <laughs> if, Dar now, if Dark Phoenix was the franchise killer... It, MCU did not bother the right to Fox. There's definitely so much question. How in the world did Jean Grey get away or something? How does she die in that movie when? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. All I can give you a heads up is that a young Jean Grey is gone in in Dark Phoenix, which I was so confused by. That I was like, okay, um. Don't forget New Mutants. Didn't you reset that for Days of Future Past? Like that's weird. That that's. But that, that wasn't. Yeah. Awful. No, it but, wasn't. But it wasn't good. It wasn't. It good. was too hard of a. Dr they were trying to do X Men mixed with Dream Warriors. It, yeah, and it, it didn't work. Sorry, I. I was super super excited for New Mutants. Yeah. And I was too. Like everything that they'd been saying about, it, they were like, "Oh yeah, no, this is going to be a X Men horror movie." It wasn't. And then really. they did reshoots. They were like, "Yeah, it wasn't scary enough. We got it this time." I was and like, it wasn't okay. scary. It, was a, it wasn't. It was there was like, like a, one part, there only one fucking part, where I was like, oh shit. And it was like a quick little fucking meaningless jump scare with Charlie Heaton's character. That was it! Not even the fucking smoke bear was fucking terrifying. Like, no. I, smoke bear, huh? Yeah, smoke bear was, was fucking in there. I, uh, <laughs> I got two movies I'll bring up real quick. Okay. I, I got one after you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much my list. So there yeah, you go. um... Expendables 4. Yeah, okay. Yeah. For still, now, anyway. I still haven't seen 4. Yeah, I have not watched it yet, either. Uh, <laughs> that's a that's a, that's a good recent one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's, I there's it. no coming back from this one. Like, holy <laughs> shit. I own it on digital. I still have not watched it. Someone gave me the, <laughs> someone gave me the digital My code. Dad, they wanted to get it. rid My of dad. that. <laughs> My dad went to see this. My dad hardly ever walks out of movies. Yeah. He walked out of this one. <laughs> I love the first three. Yeah. I hate I hated the third one, but the third one okay I can't imagine watching this one. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's on my voodoo. I still haven't watched it. Um, guy who used to work at Goodwill. Um, he'd give me all his codes when he bought movies. Uh, John Danny. Yes, who I love. Yeah, yeah. he would give me all his digital codes because he bought. Did 4K. he watch this? I don't know. Oh God. But yeah, <laughs> well, I guess not. If he gave away the code, no, he <laughs> keeps the digi the disc. He probably ended up giving the disc away too. <laughs> is yeah. my guess. Again, I haven't I've, seen it. Yeah, I'm not sure either. The other one, Here, let's see if it's the franchise there. got killed, in my opinion, by the second movie, but somehow it took to the fifth movie to actually kill it, and that was the Transformers movies. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. 
I re- still I still re- even though they were crap. I yeah, still this- refuse to watch the live action Transformers yeah, movies. The last night was like Bumblebee is great. I love Bumblebee. I mean, Bumblebee. Bumblebee. It was already it was already pretty awesome. bad with the Transformers movies at that I point, but like Holland. Yeah. <laughs> One one of the worst sequels ever made. The Shia LaBeouf. Like, the last my bug. Inept. It's inept. Like I didn't mind Dark of the Moon. It wasn't no, horrible. No, Dark of the Moon was was. I mean, I don't think it's a good movie, no. but like there's Two, three, there's some inter- straight there's trash. some there's some entertaining parts in yeah. three. Yeah, four was four was terrible, but like f- last night was like. Inconceivable, like yeah, yeah. even by Michael Bay standards at it that point, like straight trash. Like what the hell? What what like means. what is going on here? <laughs> like everything. Yeah, that it's one of those Michael Bay. What the fuck happened to you, directors? Like he was directing some good movies in the nineties and the two thousands. Yeah. I liked it. He, I mean, I liked his uh, his last movie, Ambulance. That, that was solid. I still haven't seen which, that. which I which I. Which I which a lot of people hated. For That's part of the reason why I don't like, watch I any fine. Michael Bay movies lately because I, mean, I just haven't watched any watched nice films mm-hmm. yet because yeah. he's such a he's such a hard director to work with. He's oh hit, my fuck. He's hit or miss. Yeah. Like he can make something that's very good, like The Rock or Armageddon. Um, yeah, it, but then he'll make a Transformers movie. <laughs> yeah. What do you got, Dylan? Uh, well, I, I was I was gonna comment on Ambulance for a second. The reason why I didn't see Ambulance. Wasn't because I don't harbor anything against Michael Bay as a director, really, or at, at, like against his films. Um, I don't really harbor anything against his films, but uh, I, I remember there was something that came out about the set of Ambulance where there were people put in harm's way that weren't supposed to be put in harm's way because he wanted to do a massive fucking stunt with pyrotechnics and people almost fucking died from it. Like I think I that you should have fucking done something else. Wow. Like I'm fucking sorry. That's the reason why I didn't watch it. I didn't want to fucking no. Uh, that that was just unacceptable in I my opinion. Not, Somebody not didn't do their fucking job at some point. I did not hear about that. So. Yeah. No. People were like, there's there was footage from like behind the barricades that were supposed to keep them safe, where like the ambulance blew up or something like that. I don't fucking know. I don't oh remember. gosh. But it like slammed into a car and it slammed into the barricades and moved the barricades. Oh god! Like people were in the fucking way that wow. shouldn't have, or people were in harm's way when they shouldn't have been in harm's way. Mm. Like it was needless, Mm-mm-mm. and I wow. didn't fucking like that. That's the reason why I didn't see it. Wow! But I, I, I don't, I can't say anything else about the actual film. Yeah. Right. So um, what's the one movie you have? Is because they're a franchise killer. I'm surprised you guys didn't bring it up. Spider Man Three. True. I was going to, like, but I, I, then, but then you know, I it's still also, it still made box up its money, and the Spider-Man franchise was still going. And then they, well, they were supposed to have four, but four got canceled because of three. Yeah, well, I yeah. Three so much, I didn't even think of it. Well, I enjoy it too. I do. I, I do too. I don't. But I, don't I like, like it. it. But it, I mean, it's fun to see in the theater with a bunch of. I people, love the finger so. gun dance. Um, I love his emo it's, dance. It's no, so it's funny. so awful. I, mean, I love it. Then we can also talk about Amazing Spider-Man Two, which. Way more planned after that. that didn't <laughs> I was doing my emo dance. I love it. So. True. It's my full fledged opinion that they need to bring back Andrew Garfield. They want I want to see that too. That they want to bring back a fucking the, Don't do it with Tom. Do it with Andrew. In the Sony verse. Like, Sony yes. Verse. yes. Like, yeah. Let Tom do his own thing, clearly. But, like, yeah. With what Sony's been doing, yeah. Andrew Garfield is the way to go. Yes. This is just a rumor, so don't take this with any salt. Yeah. Apparently, Toby and Hugh Jackman are going to be in multiple Avengers movies after Secret Wars. Oh, yeah, totally. Like, you have to be naive not to think they're going to be in Secret... In either of the... In either Secret Wars or yeah. whatever, yeah. Apparently, whatever Avenger, whatever Wars. Avengers Five is yeah. gonna end up being. It's... So we can also say Ghost Rider: Spirit of Vengeance. Then did that really have anything really planned after it? Like I don't know. I think there was <laughs> I don't, a third one. I, planned. I, I have I no clue. Know. They made a if I remember one. right, there was supposed to be a third one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that movie. I but hate, I mean, that, I that just also snuck by people's oh, scopes. Like, I can't stand either of them. Uh, Spirit, uh, Spirit of Vengeance is actually better than most people remember it. I'll say that. 
I need to rewatch it. But it makes it. no sense. No, it, it does not. No, no sense. <laughs> no, there, it, it's deeply flawed, but there's a lot to enjoy there. Uh, uh, Idris Elba is in there. I think that Nicolas Cage does some pretty good performances in it. Uh, there's some good ideas. I also like the aesthetic that they chose for that version of Ghost Rider. I think it was weird that they differed from the first one. Plus, they changed the rules of the yeah, first one. Clear, like, <laughs> it's not even a sequel. It's a reboot. So. Yeah, yeah. This next one I'll just throw out there. I'm not Because there, there is a franchise planned. I just don't know if there's any updates on it. And the last movie was 2020. Bloodshot. Uh, yeah, what I still haven't seen I that. Com- I completely forgot that movie existed. Yeah, I did too, too, and I was going to watch it. I was excited for oh, it. That's Blu-ray. I, I remember I hearing bad shit about it. I heard it wasn't good, so yeah. I skipped out on it. Yeah, but they were supposed to start whole. Uh, Valiant is typically considered the third biggest comic company behind DC and Marvel. Oh, okay. huh. and they were supposed to start a whole Valiant cinematic universe with Bloodshot. But yeah, I've not heard anything about any of the other movies after that. I've not seen any updates at all, so I'm, I'm thinking that killed yeah. the rest of them. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, all th- uh, crap. Well, I, I had one pop up in my head. Um, Ninja Turtles three. <laughs> yeah, could also throw that in. There. Um, <sighs> fuck, what was? <clears throat> I'm blanking. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm floundering. <Yeah>. I'm floundering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you guys have anything else before we uh, mend it off? Or? I'm just thinking real quick. Let's okay. See if there's anything I forgot. There was probably going to end up being a Blade 4, right? No, I don't think there no. I don't think so, no. It was the Blade was TV not? series. Well, yeah, I knew about that. Which mm-hmm. I still have not watched. I've got it over there, but. I thought that there was supposed to be a fourth movie. Like a continuation. Yeah. Which, uh, which, what's not. Wait, wasn't there a fourth movie? It was a different guy. Yeah, that was but... like the TV pilot. It was, was a it? movie, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which right. let's not get into the trouble plate production. Like Yeah, nah. I was gonna say uh, Trinity. Trinity. <laughs> yeah. That's it a sucks. conversation for another day. <laughs> uh, sucks. They were planning on doing a Green Hornet series. With uh, Seth That's... Rogan. Yes! Oh my god, I totally forgot god, about I, that. I, I, I could, fucking love that Green I Hornet movie. Sta- I can stand it. <laughs> It. I could understand why people uh, why people hate it. I don't blame anybody. That's drastically fucking different from every other Green Hornet thing. I did not enjoy it whatsoever. It was one hell of a fucking choice having Seth Rogen be there. Wasn't he one of the reasons why it happened? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you guys, but my mom's actually here. She says she's going to pick me up. So you guys go ahead and keep it, doing your episode. I'll see you guys re- next time. We'll see you next time. Yeah, see it's you next the, time, John. It's the reversal of Batman 66. <laughs> <laughs> it's Careful. the reversal of Batman 66. Green Hornet's usually a super serious thing, and this is a joke. Yes. Batman si- Batman's usually a serious thing, and Batman 66 is a joke. Yeah. Hmm. Wait. So, so the Green Hornet is like oh, yeah, meant to be... a serious thing like Batman. Right. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't... I did not... N- I could. I did not laugh. I don't think one time when I watched that Green Hornet movie. Like, and I like Seth Rogen, and it's just like, this is painful. So well, I just. It was such a weird fucking choice. Like, I feel like there are a lot of other people they could have picked for Green Hornet. I, I. I think that. I think that Seth Rogen was the reason why that movie happened. And I'm. Like again, I. I love the movie. If they. If we would have gone in a sequel, I would have loved it. I. <laughs> I think that the second one should have been Green Hornet and Blue Wombat, but <laughs> you, but I I just I don't know it it, it was weird I I definitely fucking ended the franchise there. <laughs> could also throw uh, the Lone Ranger in there, which oh boy, another John Carter. John, yeah, yeah, that's a famous one. Listen, I love both of those. <laughs> so like, I would you defend like those. Ra- you like Lone Ranger? <laughs> I I enjoy it. Yes. Uh. Uh, there's shit that I don't like about it. Like, they should have, uh, obviously they should have casted a Native American to play Tonto. They didn't do it. Nope. Uh, I still like what Johnny Depp did with it, and if I remember right, he tried to treat that role with as much respect as possible. So yeah, I can at least appreciate that. He wasn't the, I, I it's like, I think Gore Verbinski directed it, and that's an a great example of a movie that does not need to be two and a half hours. No, 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 no. Like, did he really stop go trying to make fucking epics, dude? Like, 
you're not. It's like you're not gone with the wind. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> come on, stop it. That's why I don't. That's why I don't like uh, At World's End is because like just you're trying to make this like so much bigger than it needs to be. Like I'm gonna I watch that tomorrow. Yeah, it's good. I still like it. I I, I love Edgar Wright. I just the, definitely the weakest one of the uh, <laughs> the original trilogy. I would say. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm tapped out of these franchise killers. So. Yeah, this was it. <laughs> uh, do you have anything else to say, Dylan, or should we end it? Uh, would you say that Avatar was the was the franchise ender <laughs> of Avatar? Wait, the <laughs> Considering the year, fact that it took over year, ten fucking years yeah, last... to get a sequel. Wait, what? Avatar. Uh, James Cameron's I, Avatar. That's not really a franchise killer. That's just we, like it took thirteen just, fucking years I mean, to get that's it. Just, that's just a movie taking yeah. a long time. I, because James Cameron is notorious. No, for doing Avatar: that. The Last. We Airbender. were talking about everything negatively. I I still think it fucking qualifies because it set a bar. James got James Cameron wanted to go above that bar, and it took him thirteen fucking years to go uh, to do it. I can kind of understand the reasoning. But yes, uh, that's my that's how I'm going about it. I'm not saying Avatar is a bad movie. That's not a, that's not all what I'm saying. I'm saying that it ended the fucking franchise for thirteen fucking years. Because James Cameron was like, "How the fuck do I one up this?" I don't. I don't think it really applies in this category. Um, I we didn't list the fucking rules at the beginning of the podcast. We did it before. That's true. <laughs> I mean, uh. still, I think that it fits based on my reasoning. Just title alone, I think it fits. Okay. This is this has been an episode. Yeah, this one hell of an crazy episode. One. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah, make sure to ring that. Uh, make sure to click that bell icon to be notified Ding. anytime that we publish something on our YouTube channel. Uh, make sure to check us out on Spotify, where we publish our main episodes uh, uh, for audible uh, for audio listeners. Well, actually, we publish all our episodes now. All of them? Yeah. Oh, it's been a minute cool. since, since I've seen the page on Spotify. Okay. Yeah. I, all right. All yeah, of it all, except for like out. stuff that has to be video, like the D and D campaign. Oh man, we're not putting our live streams. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, make sure to follow us on social media we have a Facebook we have a Twitter we're trying to be a little more active on Instagram uh, we're planning on other platform jumps as well um, uh, uh, we have multiple projects in the pipeline please stay tuned for those I'm sure that there's going to be update on at least one of them here within yeah. the next couple weeks and we also have a giveaway um, for Batman 1989. You have to August 1st enter. Uh, go find the video on our Twitter or Facebook or our YouTube. The link's on all three. And you'll see how to enter there. Uh, if you're trying to, uh, if you want to know where to find us, in general, just look up the Cinema Asylum podcast. Our logo is the same everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so it should be pretty easy to identify us. <laughs> uh, we hope you guys have a great week. We have two other episodes dropping this week. Uh, this will be the second one out of three. Uh, we will see you back next week for more fun. I see you back next week. Hope you had a great Pride Month, guys. Adios. Bye. the Cinema Asylum Podcast. You guys were awesome. Thanks for coming out. Good night.